two two one two. OCO everyone. OCO, can y'all hear me? We good? Let me double check real quick. Are we loud and clear? OCO, OCO. OCO, free thinkers. Kenny, thank you for being a member for 37 months in a row. I appreciate that. Loud and clear, excellent. All right. Yeah, we about to get into it tonight. Dark Moon Goddess. Thank you, sister. Been a member for 11 months in a row, man. Mm. I appreciate that, sister. We we got them snipers on deck. Snipers! Shout out to the moderators. Yeah, go ahead. Y'all can spam it. You you could definitely spam the turtles, the bow and arrows, the feathers. Tomahawks, put it in there. Yeah, we about to get into it. Yeah, I know if you're unfamiliar with the reason why I do a little countdown, I'm basically giving people um time uh, to be notified. That's all. I'm just giving people time to be notified. Goddess Wild Red, thank you for being a member for two months in a row. I appreciate that. Oh, you know what? I'm just noticing that y'all left messages too. I'm just noticing that. I apologize. Kenny said, Hello, hey everyone. Dot Moon Goddess said abundance and gratitude. I appreciate that, y'all. Goddess Wild Red said, Mississippi need ye. Yeah, I, I had I didn't have it open all the way, but now I can really see it. Now I can see the messages at the same time. Yeah, I appreciate that, y'all. So <laughs> Y'all ready? We about to get into it, man. This 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 about to be a great one right here. It's gonna be a great one right here. Uh, it says who that? Uh, PJ Barton. Thank you for being a member. Thank you for becoming a member. I appreciate that. And I just got the notey for. Hold up, that's being abbreviated for some odd reason. Let me double check why. Oh, because it has a message at the same time. Dark Moon Goddess. Thank you, sister. I appreciate that. And she said, whoop. She <laughs> yeah, that's that that thing. I don't know how it look on y'all in on the cell phone, but apparently it must have took up uh, a whole space on its own. Because on my side, I had to open that thing up. But I can see it now. I appreciate that, sis. Thank you. Thank you for the dono, sister. Uh, look like somebody just gifted. I gotta fix that notification too. Uh, yeah. Mitchell just gifted a membership. I appreciate that. Oh, see you, Baba Rasa. How are you? Now you be doing your thing, Baba Ross, and I appreciate you, Elder. You know, it's always love on this side. Straight to you. And Baba Ross, and I'm not expecting you to, you know, be kicking members out of the chat and everything like that. You're an elder. Sit back. But I definitely made you a mod so I could see when you pop in so I could see it and won't miss it. I remember a couple times when you popped in, I missed it. I ain't going to have that no more. I 
Absolutely, brother. Absolutely. All love. Reese Cap, thank you for becoming a member. I appreciate that. Oh, see you, everyone. Yeah, we got Bob Ryson in the building. Let me drop a bomb for the elder. Jamel Paytas. Thank you, brother. Thank you for the gift of membership. We appreciate that. St. Louis, welcome aboard because of that. I see you. DJ Quiet Storm OCO from Memphis. What up, Memphis? Who else in the building? I'm looking at the chat now, heavy. I had to do a couple things on my side, make sure I'm geared up. Who else we got in here? I know Bobby Ross, I'm rapping New Orleans. New Orleans, excuse me, New Orleans. Am I saying it right? GA in the building. Turtle Wild and Stand Up. That's right, I see you. Huh? Phoenix, Arizona in the building. ATL in the building. Boston in the building. No Philly in the building. Philly in the building. Philly in the building. Hey, Philly. Hey. Detroit in the building. Um, uh, you were in the building. Detroit in the building. Okay, hold up. <coughs> Boston in the building. St. Louis in the building. Boston in the building. Hey, hold on. Austin in the building. Is that Austin, Texas? What up, Texas? What do I see? H Town and H Town in the building. Houston, Texas in the building. Mississippi in the building. Y'all are here. Happy tonight. Uh, Philly in the building. Jersey in the building. Fort Lauderdale, Florida in the building. H Town in the building. Uh, Greenville, South Carolina, Missouri, Raleigh, North Carolina, St. Louis in the building, Chicago in the building, St. Louis in the building, hey, North Carolina in the building, Denver, Colorado in the building, Baltimore in the building, Baltimore in the building, Baltimore in the building, I see y'all, San Antonio, Detroit in the building, y'all deep. Y'all deep tonight, man. Hey, what? Ho, 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 what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Chill. What is this? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. That is twice. Rudy. Hold up. Rudy. Rudy. Twice in a row? Did you mean to do that? I appreciate that, sister. Drop a dono, big donos, back to back. I appreciate that, sister. Thank you. Man. I got them notifications. I thought something was wrong when I got them notifications. I was like, what happened? <laughs> Hold up. Woo. Whoa. All right, now my thing. Okay. 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 Now. Okay. Hold up. Let me just. <laughs> Hold up. Uh, that say John Nail Crumble. John L. Crumble gifted five memberships. I appreciate that. Um, thank you, John L. I appreciate that. Patrice became a member as well. Shout out to Patrice. Bless his family. Blessings to you and yours too, sis. Blue Dreamer. Oh, man, sis. Gifted five memberships. Welcome to those that was able to come through. I appreciate that. Shout out to you. Thank you, Blue Dreamer. Thank you, sister. Turtle Island, our gifted one membership. I appreciate that, brother. Always coming through, so love. Rudy, what, what, Rudy? I appreciate that, y'all. Montgomery, Alabama, in the building. Man, I'm trying to tell you. Okay, PD, Indy, PD, Niji, stand up. Hey, what up, brother? Been a member for 16 months in a row. Hey, 
I appreciate that. Flip Michigan, I see you. Alabama tapping in. What up, Alabama? Let's say that's the first time somebody... Okay, Young Mo. What's up, Young Mo? OCO. Hold up. I'm, I'm getting... Yo, y'all going crazy. I, I can't even... These noties, hold up. Hold up, hold up. <laughs> hold up. Here we go. So it was ice. Right, so let me make sure. Yeah, born Niji. Been a member for 16 months in a row. I appreciate that. And then James Stone gifted a membership right behind that. And then Marvin Farr gifted a membership right behind that. Hold up. Whoa. What? Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. Chill, y'all gotta listen, listen, hold up, y'all. Hold up. What hey, what what? U S M C U S Is that US Marcus? Like what brother 20 gifted memberships, brother? Yes, it says that he gifted 20 memberships. I, I don't know if that's an abbreviation. I mean, shout out to you, brother. I mean, USMCUS. That's what I see on my side. I'm not sure if that's US Marcus. It could be, I mean, you could be in the military. I, I, man, I'm dropping bombs for the brother. Those of you, if you can, show love to these people that's doing that because they ain't have to do all that now. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Shout out to Young Mo. What's going on, brother? Thank you for the donation as well. Mohawk I am. OCO sister. Thank you for the gift of membership. And indigenous Bobby, hold up. These are people in my 13% community server. Sister, thank you for the five gift to the Digitus Barbie. Y'all don't have to do all that now. I appreciate that though. That's 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 major. That's major. Terrence, thank you for the five gift. Y'all going off right now. I that Those people that are that that's gifting the memberships like that, what's happening is that's allowing people to become members that they haven't got a chance to do so. And be ready, man, because there's a lot of stuff happening. We I'm not trying to say too much of the plans, but there's a lot of stuff that you could be able to see that's not going to be made public. I would love for you to get a chance to see it. I appreciate that. Jay Scott Cannon, thank you for becoming a member as well. Mr. Gino, thank you for becoming a member. Yes, Indigenous Bobby been a member for eight months in a row. She said, we trying to get our people on. I appreciate that, sister. I know that's right. Uh, what's this? Hold up. These notifications, I... I'm not exactly sure what that is. It, it's, it's like something... It's a, uh, hold up. Oh, it's a different currency. One second, let me double check real quick because that's what it's saying on my side. Wait, twice? Hold up, ho, 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 stop, stop, stop. Huh? Yeah, it's saying, okay, I just confirmed. Gregory gifted. 60 in euro twice is that twice yeah that's 60 twice gregory i appreciate that shout out to the uk in the building that's major right there 
That's major. I appreciate that, Gregory. Thank you. Man. Todd's like my hall has become a member. I appreciate that. Listen, y'all showing a lot of love. Thank y'all so much. Thank y'all. Um, you know, I'm I'm trying my hardest to continuously teach the people what's going on. I'm gonna continue to do that, you know. I put up a message. I know a lot of people were trying to tell me this person talking about me, that person talking about me, but like we already had these type of conversations inside of the community server. It's free for you to join. Uh, I definitely highly recommend that you join it uh, if you want to be a part of the building of what we're doing. Okay. Um, as the Niji people, you know, it, it doesn't matter your, it really doesn't matter your religion, your religious belief to me. I, you know, it, it's more so about, look, if you're going to have an open mind, come on. If you want to be with like-minded people, come on. And it really doesn't matter your age as long as you are of age to comprehend. And what I mean by that is, at least you're over 17, okay? And, you know, I, you could be 102 as long as, you you know, you got some family members that can show you how to work, <laughs> how to work the, or navigate the app, rather. Come on in there. 17 and up, though. I don't want no, no 16, 15 year olds uh, in, inside of the community server because I don't know how y'all going to act. <laughs> oh, man. I appreciate that, y'all. Hold, hold, wait a minute, y'all. Wait. Can we? <laughs> up, y'all. Is that another one? Yeah. John Nail Crumble gifted another five memberships. I appreciate that, brother. Nikisha has become a member. Thank you, Nikisha. They got over member by DC natives. Huh? What up, Slim? Glad you can be come on over here. I appreciate that, sis. Turtle Island are gifted five members. Come on, brother. I appreciate that, brother. Man, those of you that's able to get in here because of that, thank them. That's major. That's, that's huge. That's like a donation, and they're giving it to you. Uh, that says, uh-oh. Rodeo J. Nero, Rodeo J. Nero TV. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Hopefully I ain't butcher that. Thank you for becoming a member, brother. Tommy Love, thank you for the donation. And then, what the, f hold on, ho, ho, ho. And then, hey, look, look at his name. His name is Gifted C. Johnson, has gifted 20 <laughs> memberships. Y'all going off today. Y'all going off today. Gifted C. Johnson, gifted 20 memberships. I appreciate that, brother. Many prior, thank you for becoming a member. I appreciate that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and another. Oh my God, bruh. Hill Wisdom gifted five memberships. Y'all going off today. Bruce Horn has become a member. I appreciate that, Bruce. Keisha became a member. Thank you, Keisha. Blue became a member. I appreciate that. Terrence, thank you for the donation, Terrence. I appreciate that. Y'all making me feel extra, extra great, man. Like that. That means a lot. That means a lot. Again. With, with my wife, my team, and you all. If I didn't have that, I wouldn't be here. That's the truth. If I didn't have the support from you all, my wife and my team, we couldn't have did it. We couldn't have did it. The crazy thing is, and I always say this, y'all know, uh, we just getting started. We're just getting started, and and 
I'm not gonna stop, man. My foot is on the gas pedal, super glued to the gas pedal. I'm not gonna stop. I'm about real change for our people. That's what I'm about. Positivity, enlightenment, enriching our people with a, an abundance of truthful, unbiased education so they could know the real story and not his story. Right, that's what I'm about. And spreading that type of awareness, not only amongst their peers, but amongst their family members and everybody else in between that want to give a near. Shout out to those of you that's been supporting and showing love. Like, even if you don't donate or stuff like that, <coughs> excuse me, but you click like and you share the videos, you comment, you pass it to your coworkers and your family members, I appreciate you. Matter of fact, I'm dropping bombs for you. That's all of us. It ain't just Dane Calloway, it's all of us combined that's making this happen. And I appreciate that. What I'm about to get into some night, get into tonight may ruffle some feathers, no pun intended. What I'm about to get into tonight may ruffle some feathers, no pun intended. Because it's a like, hey, shout out to all my people that's know, that know what's going on, but there's some things I wanna share with you to warm up the conversation so we can get knee deep into the conversation. Depending on how things go, I might even open up the panel and welcome some of you all on. But again, you gotta be a member of the 13% community server and heads up, you gotta have a picture. And I ain't talking about a picture of your dog and your car, you gotta have a picture of you in order for me to welcome you onto the panel, okay? But yes, the, you see the moderators posting up there and they doing a great job. Shout out to the moderators. Shout out to the moderators, y'all. They doing their thing. Um, but they are posting it up and that's something that you could click on and download right now. I wait for you, I'm gonna be here. Get in there. You, you gotta get in there in order to be able to get on the panel. Um, let me shout out the Sun Key. Thank you for becoming a member. Melanin Queen K, thank you for becoming a member. Rare Royalty, thank you for becoming a member. Let's get into this. Let's get into this right now. So, as you can already tell, they lied about this. And the thumbnail was not clickbait. Let's let that sink in for a second. For some odd reason, a lot of our people, <clears throat> and I mean a lot, a great deal amount of our people would think or believe rather that our people were not involved in the Civil War. And the reason why I'm doing all of this because there is a movie that's getting ready to come out called The Civil War. And it's about switching the narrative while controlling it simultaneously. And I wanna combat that and make you aware of the truth before you even see that movie that's coming. So I'm gonna be sharing some things with you that will enlighten you. Uh, whether if it's videos or other information that I'm gonna pull. There is one thing that I wanna do first is to let you hear uh, something that some of you all may not have heard and see at the same time there's gonna be a video plan. We're gonna take it slow. This may be a long live stream, buckle up. I don't know, two, three hours, maybe four, I don't know. Buckle up. If you're going to be here, I'm going to be here. You ready? Y'all ready to do this? I mean, if, if you're ready to do it, just spam the chat. Just let me know. If you're ready to do it, spam the chat with something. Bow and arrows, 13%. Uh, feathers, turtles. Just let me know. Just just let me know. All right, Dane, stop it, man. Go. Do it now. It's up. It's go time. I'm ready. Are you ready? We've been told a lot of lies about our history. 
Again, we had foreigners telling us our history and their folks wasn't even here to begin with. Not in the large mass. Okay. All right, the whole chat is saying, all right, let's get it. This is what we're going to do. Let's start off. Hey, I can't even consider it small, but let's start off with something that I would consider a warm up. You're going to see it. <clears throat> let me let me pull this down. Oh, yeah. Let me, let me, damn, there's so many things I want to talk about, but let me wait until we get this part done. I got to get this part done first. So when I'm getting ready to play, there's a conversation that I was having with the sisters and the brothers inside of the um, community chat, uh, the 13% uh, community server. I know a lot of you did not get a chance to hear that. But something was shown and a lot of things were stated that is very important. And then we're going to go further. So this is not the end all be all like I'm getting ready to. No, no, no. <clears throat> Bear with me. Let's start from here. Me, uh, me get it together on my side. I'm getting ready to do it immediately. All right, here we go. But now, nah, so I wanted to get your opinion on this particular video. This is going to be for a future thing that's going to be y'all getting a heads up because this is something we working on everything that's supposed to be coming out this month. I can't say anything on that because most of that stuff is already done. But this is something my wife said, I right, get their opinion on this because this is something that's going to be put out during Black History Month, so-called Black History Month. I'm about to play the video. Here we go. Let's do it. If you would like to know a little bit about Karen Cooper, I don't like to be told what to do. <laughs> I'm a proud Virginia flagger, and we are at Hollywood Cemetery in Richmond, Virginia. Shout out to Richmond. I grew up in New York. I was a member of the Nation of Islam in New York. You know, the Nation of Islam thinks, you know, races should be separate, you know, black and white and stuff like that. And then I came down here and we were more together and I just realized, I was like, well, that can't be right because there's a lot of nice white folks. I mean, people wave to me that I, I've never known. The North, they claim that they like black people and they care about black people, but it is so segregated, it's not funny. I felt more welcomed in the South. I believe in a very limited, very small government. I joined the Tea Party because I actually wanted to tell people that the federal government shouldn't be doing all this stuff that they're doing, you know. Um, you are not to control every aspect of our life. And so um, on Facebook, I started meeting, you know, my friends who was in the Tea Party, they were mostly, you know, they had Confederate ancestors. Then I met this lady, Susan Hathaway, and she started flagging. And I said, well, I should go out there and flag with her because one, I support, you know, Confederate history, and two, it's a great way to show my freedom of speech. It's my right to be able to be out there in public with the battle flag, you know? So that's why I did it. Now, real, really quickly, I just want y'all to notice that she's not talking about her individual history with her ancestors. No, I wanted y'all to know that she's talking about, she came from New York and when she moved to the South from Richmond, Richmond, Virginia, she wanted to be a part of something. She thought this was great. I'm gonna continue on. I know what people think about when they see the battle flag. You know, all they think is KKK and we hate black people. Um, you know, or we want to bring slavery back. So I knew it was going to be something for people to see a black woman with the battle flag. Actually, most people don't even stop to talk to me because I think they in such shock to see me out there with the battle flag. I don't even think they don't have the nerve to even ask why I'm out there. You know, I'm not advocating slavery or think that, you know, it was right. Um, it wasn't and none of my friends um, think it was. It was just something that happened and it just didn't happen in the South. It happened worldwide. I said this before and people 
America and think it's horrible. But I believe slavery is a choice. And I say that because of what Patrick Henry said, give me liberty or give me death. To me, you know, if we ever went back to that kind of slavery, no, I couldn't do it, give me death. I feel I'm a slave now because the federal government does control me. I can't smoke what I want to smoke. I can't drink what I want to drink. If I want to put something into my body, it's my body, not theirs. So what gives them the right to tell me what I should do? That's tyranny. But yet and still, it's only the Southerners and it's only the battle flag that has all the weight and the guilt on it. And it's not right, it's not right. I actually think that it represents freedom. It represents the people who stood up to tyranny. And by me being out there, I hope that you would see this is not racist. I mean, how can it be racist if I'm out there with them? I'm talking with them, I'm hugging them, you know, I'm conversing with them. These are my best friends that I'm out here with. What I hope to change or to accomplish is just to, um, I don't know, wake a few people's minds up and s stop believing that that's, that flag is about race. I want them to stop thinking that, you know, but, you know, that's up to them. In the end, I just, I'm just doing it for me. It makes me feel good. Well, that's why I put myself out there. I want to, I just want to say something because I'm going to be posting up a lot of information during Black History Month concerning the, <clears throat> what they would call the battle rebel flag or the rebel battle flag, the Confederate flag. Um, number one, a lot of our people are unfamiliar with the history of the Confederate flag and how it came about and how it pertains to us as a people, the Niji, directly, meaning before it was attached to the Southern Confederate States as its flag to salute. We had it prior to that. And who was we? Again, the Niji. Multiple different tribes in the South had this flag as their flag. Multiple different tribes of the South had this flag as their flag. They will also have their tribal names embedded on the flag. The majority of the people that fought in the war were our people on both sides, North and the South, especially the South, because the reason why, and I exposed this during the video, I'm going to have to put this video back out uh, because I realized I forgot that I took that video down um, uh, that I did on the Civil War and I was telling everybody to go look for it. And people were like, well, Dane, it's not on there. I forgot that I took that down because I was about to insert more stuff on it. So I'm going to refresh it. That's I'm going to put that out in hopefully like two days like or less. Two days or less. I'm going to put that back out because I feel as though that's important that you know why and what happened. Why? When I tell you the army went with the South, all of it, the entire army, when I'm talking about United States Army, whatever you want to call it, the militia, the military, whatever you want to call it, went with the South, the Southern states that left the North without an army. I need people to understand that. So when they try to figure out who won the war and they tell you the North won, AKA the Union, the Union won, and they don't tell you how, but they tell you about all these battles, right? That, that occurred in many different areas, okay? Now, they're inaccurate with the count as far as how many people died. They're inaccurate with the count as far as how many people enlisted. They are ina inaccurate with the account of how many Niji people were enrolled in particular platoons, infantries, uh, from colored soldiers. They, they Some of them were considered colored soldiers. And those that were considered... Uh, that had rank were considered officers. And I'm talking about high ranking officers and they were not considered color. I'm gonna put all of this out. It's so many things that came out before that people missed. And like she said, she's right with the few things 
the number one thing is how they tried to manage, who was they? The government managed to, throughout compulsory education, they managed to portray that battle, the Confederate flag to our people as children into thinking that immediately that's racist. That's strictly about slavery. That's strictly about white folks against black folks. And that is not the case. That is all a lie. In fact, I told you that the KKK specifically, not even told you, I showed you. In fact, that's a video on my channel as well. The untold truth about the USA flag. The Ku Klux Klan did not have the Confederate flag as their flag. They had the United States flag as their flag. And I showed you in that same video, the original United States flag salute is the exact same salute that they were knocking the Nazi army with, where their hand is up, the palm is up. Like the Nazi palm, that was the original salute to the United States flag. I showed you guys the pictures and all of that. They had children doing it too. This is not a game. This, this is on my channel right now. I know that's not a popular video of mine because I believe I named it the, the untold truth about the United States flag or something like that. And then I posted up that picture. That's probably why they're not gonna, you know, showcase that to everybody because I'm showing you that salute and people are unfamiliar with that. But yes, I, I'm not playing. And then I read off, uh, right at the end of that video, I read off how the women of the Ku Klux Klan told you that that was their flag. They, they laid claim to the United States flag. And you know, again, Matriarch was ruling a lot of the organizations. I know certain men out there are gonna be upset with that, but it's the truth. Just hear me out on this. The women was running the show. So when they say, okay, this is ours, the men gonna follow suit. And that's exactly what happened. So now you see that if since the Ku Klux Klan ran off and said, okay, the United States is our flag, then it leaves in limbo whose flag was the Confederate. Especially if you're familiar with the Confederate flag's history before it was considered the Confederate flag, the rebel flag. That's what needs to be put out there. And that's what I'm gonna put out there. And I'm gonna start naming them. Chickamauga, the Cherokee, I'm, you're gonna see all of that. Because the, I'm talking about the history of the flag itself, even the, the colors change. A whole bunch of stuff changed over time. And then I'm gonna show you, I'm not gonna give everything away. I'm gonna show you how the United States adopted more than just that flag. It was, it was a lot of history. When I say adopted, they took it and tried to say it was theirs, not adopted. So let me, let me eliminate that term. Yeah, let me disassociate that term with them. That's not what happened. They didn't adopt it. They took it. They stole it and tried to say it was theirs. But um, to go back to the Civil War portion of it, again, North and South, Union versus Confederate states. Confederate. Confederation needs to be known. Who made up the Confederate? Now, of course, you're going to go off of states. I need to put that video back up. I have to. That video got to come before the other videos come so you can understand bit by bit, instead of giving it to you all so you can digest it properly. I'm gonna give you that portion immediately. Like, give me two days, I'm gonna put that out as far as the Civil War is concerned. And then next, following, that's gonna be not this month with the flag, that's gonna be in uh, February. All of the information that I have is gonna have to get put out with the records, everything. That gotta get put out properly, okay? Certain things you may be familiar with because I referenced a couple of things already but I'm gonna insert everything that I can. And this is the reason why I'm playing this video right now, because I want you to understand, see how she came from up north and she went down south and she was, she gravitated towards that because of how the government, you know, is being ran and how, you know, she's against that. She joined the Tea Party. The white folks comforted her. It had nothing to do with racism. See, our people don't know nothing about this. Also, our, peop our people don't know nothing about our people being involved in the Ku Klux Klan. I'm talking about Niji dressed in those garments. Set this is not fire. a game. Fire. Fire. Not a game. The Ku Klux Klan was not exclusively to the Irish. It's it wasn't exclusive to the Irish alone. Yeah, Dave Chappelle did do a skit on that. Mm -hmm. He did. Everybody took that as a joke, but I have verified pictures of our people in those Ku Klux Klan outfits, in those robes, out there, burning crosses, 
think about that. Why did they burn the cross? What, what does that mean? What does the burning of the cross mean? The Ku Klux Klan burnt the cross not to intimidate the people around it. Uh, okay, because they hated Christianity. Here we go. But at the same time, it was a certain particular Christianity they didn't like because they did follow, okay, Catholic Christianity. Who was against the Catholics? Keep in mind, you would think that it was nothing but the Irish people that started the Ku Klux Klan. So if the Irish people came and started a so-called rebel group, then who were they? Uh-huh, and then Scott's, hold on. Now, nah, hold up, hold up. What were they religiously? What, okay, what was their religious practice? Look, I'm gonna give you a hint. This sent now, not the Quakers. Who was the number one enemy to the Catholics? Is that simple? Right. Uh huh. And they were doing the Puritan way of life, right? Purified. The Protestants. Yes, they are also known as Freemasons. The Freemasonry came from them, meaning a branch, a branch of them. They took bits and pieces of skull and bones. But the Knights also was a part of them as well, as far as Catholic Christianity. So it depends on what they subscribe to. Like you, you can see different Knights still involved in Catholic Christianity, or some of them could be involved in Protestantism. A lot of the Masons are involved. Yes, big time. Keep in mind, these are the same people that we are mistaken for Illuminati. Illuminati, the illuminated ones, the ones with the most uh, enlightenment. That's who they're referring to when they say Illuminati. But they're trying to they're trying to overcome what the Catholics put out there that they didn't believe in. Again, it was another even though it was religion, it was another form of government. And they wanted to be the rebels against that. Just like how she was talking. She's talking rebel against the government. The form of government right now is Protestantism. Hands down. It's no longer Catholic, even though you know that we're familiar with the Pope, for example, and the papal bulls and all the rest of that. Nah, the, the majority of it is definitely Protestantism. The Puritan way of life. If you're unfamiliar with that, I gave you the literature inside of um, Fixing America's Broken Promise, inside of the book. Hold on, I can tell you what chapter. Just in case, if you have that book, chapter, hold up. Damn, I, I really do want you to start with prepping the course. Go, go to chapter seven, start at chapter seven. I do want you to read chapter seven first. Read chapter, chapter seven first, prepping the course, and then keep going up. But you're gonna run into that because that's church and state. That it, church is the state, state is the church. It's the state that they put you in. The state that they put the church in, a body of people, governed by an overseer, pastor, preacher, governor, mayor. It's, it's the same thing. They put it right in front of you and people just didn't catch it. They just have different titles. This is the reason why I say they always change the names. They got to, in order for you to follow suit. We still, yes, it's still happening. The church and state, state and church is still happening. That did not change. Another thing I'm gonna mention uh, is the wars. <clears throat> Specifically, the Civil War, again, I might as well just tell you right now, even though you're gonna hear me state this again, in that video I'm gonna revamp real quick and put out, you're gonna hear me tell you Okay, the North got so bad, it was so bad for the North. And what I mean by the North is the Union, as far as them uh, keeping up with the stronghold the South has, or had. Because again, the army went, I'm talking about the entire army went with the South. There was nobody left, basically, to fight for the Union. Okay, except for politicians, listen, except for politicians, pastors and priests, to the point where they had to go recruit outside of the United States. They had to recruit people outside of the United States. And I'm not talking about military. I'm talking about regular people. They were asking for volunteers. This is real shit, I'm not lying. They were asking for volunteers that didn't even have a military background. And the majority of the people that volunteered straight up was like, oh wait, well, we, what, what, what are we gonna get out of this? There was a particular pension involved, you know, as far as pay, they made a lot of promises. A lot of those people died. They didn't see that, but they knew that it was gonna go to their ancestors, I mean, to their descendants. So they knew they were gonna die. That was a suicide mission. Like, hey, come over here and commit suicide, but your family's gonna be taken. You see what I'm saying now? 
I just think about that. You got volunteers off the street, streets of some other country, and I, I start naming the countries in the video of other continents coming over here to fight a military military it's up. that's ready, armed and ready to beat your ass. You are going to lose. Set it on lose. Fire. You don't know how to work a cannon. You don't even know how to set up a campfire to keep you warm at night. You don't know how to set up a tent. You don't know how to set up a base. The army that went with the South ran the Union over. They had to compromise. This is the reason why Biden and them is trying to say it was all about slavery. No, it wasn't. It was not about slavery. There's no way that the Union would let go their employees, AKA laborers, AKA slaves, without replacements, immediate replacements because otherwise they wouldn't have jobs to keep, businesses to run, houses to withhold, families to feed. They would not survive. They had to compromise. Taxes was rolled out. Prices was raised. Benefits were allotted. The union kicked in for the employees. So now they're getting paid more. And I said this before, ain't that what a union is there for anyway? When it comes to a labor job, unions are there for the employees to make sure that allegedly that you're getting treated right. You're getting compensated for the work that you're doing. This is still ongoing right now. So no, the union didn't win. They came together because as soon as they came back together, that's when it was called the United States. Prior to that, it was the union states. Prior to the Civil War, it was the Union States. After the Civil War, it was the United States. So they unified. So what happened to that Confederacy? It was federalized. Think about that. Don't we have a federal government right now? We got local governments. Federal government at the top, right? Not a confederal government. Why? Now, I just went live not too long ago. In that live stream, I was talking about unincorporated lands, unregulated lands. But I was also giving you a hint into how this government came into play. Oh, since you don't want, you don't want to lay claim to this land? Okay, it's public now. We federalized this land. It's ours now. It's no longer confederate. Which goes back to what I was saying in the live stream. Wait a minute. So if you had a confederacy, is that... Wait a minute, is that what you meant by the sovereignty? Oh, wait a minute, so the land is sovereign and it's up for grabs for anyone to claim? Yes, unrestricted is the same as unincorporated. Absolutely, yes. These people walked over us without us knowing. Paper genocide. They were legally able to do it under the color of law, however they wanted to be. I was watching them begin. I didn't get a chance to see the entire video of Cat Williams, but Cat Williams said something that I've been saying for years that stuck out. If the winner allows the loser, and I'm, and I'm paraphrasing, but if the winner allows the loser to continue to tell the story without saying nothing, yeah, I remember that part, right? Where he said that without the winner saying anything. And remember, I told y'all that the winner didn't write the story. The losers did because they had the audacity to lie about it. What was Kat's conversation about? Making them back track on everything as far as their lives are concerned and setting the record straight, making sure you control in the narrative because you're the winner. I said the winner didn't write history because only a loser will have the audacity to write a story to make it seem as if they won when he didn't. The union didn't win. The Confederates didn't win. Wait a minute, now what war did they win? 1812? Because think about that now, if we actually won the war in 1812, wouldn't we be in charge of Great Britain? So wait a minute, we don't got American troops in Great Britain saying this is our land? Wait a minute, did a war take place? Hold, hold on, wait a minute, that, dang. What are you saying? Wait, well, what am I saying? They told us that there was a battle that took place. Let's back up a little bit. Matter of fact, let's back up a little bit. They said that we won our independence from Britain too, right? 
and the Brits are still there. They still got an army and it's not being ran by the American military, it's but up. we won. What was the war really about? Independence from them. But wait a minute. Who's to say they had anything over here to begin with? Did they go to war with anybody over here in the first place? If they did, what war was that called? And what year did that take place? Why was this landmass being called British America? Or did they lay claim to unincorporated lands? Or did they lay claim to unincorporated lands? And say, you know what? That's mine right there. I'm going to plant my flag right there. This is our territory. We here now. Doctor and her discovery said they were going to come take it. Unincorporated land. Land of the free. Home of the brave. So meaning that sovereign land. But don't forget it. Those indigenous people on that land brave enough to whoop your ass. So it's all about how good you get in with them in order for them to accept that you're going to be their new neighbors. Again, if you coming from Great Britain, why would Great Britain fight America for their independence when they coming from Great Britain? Great Britain didn't have no stronghold over here, no army over here. This is They've been lying the whole time, y'all. The whole time. Because right now, we cannot recall a war that took place where it was nothing but British people versus indigenous people until they tell us it was the 1812s and, you know, all the 61 documented wars in the 1800s. But wait, go back. Late 1700s, who fought who? Who? Who who was fighting? You arrived in the Plymouth Colony with 30 people. When did you have enough to come over here to fight indigenous people? And when? What year was that? When y'all were coming over here, y'all were suffering, dying. You cannot last. Keep in mind of how long of a trip that's going to be. It's not like your next door. You had to travel 40 to 50 days just to get here. And you prepared to go to war as soon as you land? 40 to 50 days, you hopping off the boat. Let's go! Fall in line! Attack! No way. Ain't no way in the world you ready to fight fit Indians that got guns too, not just bow and arrow. Don't forget that we are the original blacksmiths. Great Britain wanted to control that trade. Set it on fire. They wanted to find out where the East Indians was getting them weapons. They wanted to find out how the hell Asians was coming over here to get weapons made. Notice how they never told you about the history of how them them weapons was getting made. And we were the iron workers. Yeah. We worked with gold. Uh Uh-oh. We had gold too? Of course we did. Why you think they were so concerned about getting the mounds and rerouting our routes? not just underground, but above it. We got the railroads running through mounds so it could be easier access for us to get coal. Because coal could be turned into what? Metal can be turned into, wait a minute. Dang, you making sense now. They showing us paintings that we only had bow and arrows because they don't want you to think that we had weapons too. Guns. This is how you know we had everything first, because when you go to YouTube, right? For example, when you go to YouTube right now and you type in uh, how to build a boat or how to build a house or how to build a bunker or how to build a car, how to build this peaceful car, how to build anything, how to build anything, it's going to be all white people. Because our people are no longer interested in building. This is unfortunate. We barely got brothers teaching brothers how to tie a tie on YouTube. Listen, look, look. Oh man, more people need to hear this because this is this is not a game. This is for real. This is the reason why our people don't believe because it's not about believing, really. But they don't believe that we had this already in the past. 
We had to teach these folks. Why you think they killed King? King already cracked the code, even though that nigga was not on our side until the end. King started letting it loose. They had to get rid of him. No, don't teach them niggas that they was first. No, don't teach them niggas that's this their land. Don't teach them niggas that they had guns. If you a blacksmith, do you know what? Listen, y'all. How is a tomahawk made? How is gunpowder made? It's up. How is the spear at the end of that arrow made? Set it on fire. fire. I'm talking about in sharpened too. Think about it. We, we, we built it with our bare hands. We ain't had no tools. Wait a minute. Did we make our own tools? It's go time. We so no. did. I want my people to think. Okay. That's the warm up. That's the That's the warm up. Now, I'm we going to go a little deep. We going to go a step at a time. We're going to go a step at a time. That video that I'm referring to, I'm getting ready to play. The video that I was referring to during that podcast, I'm getting ready to play. I'm not playing with these. Hold on. Hmm. Hold up a second. Hold up. Mm. Damn. Mm. Mm -hmm. I, I just wish. <clears throat> I just hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get it together. Okay. Mm. <sighs> mm, mm, mm. Y'all don't understand. Some of y'all don't. How deep this get. And it's sad. It's, it's really sad that I'm seeing my people turn their nose up to this flag and our ancestors fought and died for this flag. Mm, I'm trying. I'm trying to calm down. I'm trying to calm down. We... Every time I... Did, this topic is so fucking touching. Because people were, our people were misled purposely. And they don't realize that the majority of the graves, oh my God, that part right there is our ancestors. This is why they're not trying to calm down, dang. Hold up, get it out. This is the reason why they're not trying to dig up the graves here. They're not trying to dig up the graves here for a reason. For a reason. These are our people that's... Ooh. These are our people that are buried here. Not Africa. Here. 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 Right here. Just right here. Right here. All over this landmass, and they know it. Here. They know it. Y'all got to excuse me, okay? Because this, I, I, I'm trying. I'm going to keep doing it, though. I'm definitely going to keep doing it. I'm not, I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping. And that sister didn't know. She just gravitated towards that flag because she saw them white folks doing it. 
And she wanted to be a part of it. But she didn't know. Bless her heart. But she definitely said slavery was a choice. She was right there, but she just didn't know the history of that flag. That hurts me every single time I see that. I'm trying. I'm trying. Again, our ancestors fought and died for this flag. This is our flag. I'm going to keep saying this. This is our flag. Always has been. This is not the KKK flag. If you want to call us a rebel, fine, because we're going to be rebels against this foreign government here. I got a lot of passion in me. It was stories like this that led me into where I am right now. I shed a tear for many things that I discovered within my research. This was one of them. Because this is so major. And now people are so indoctrinated into believing a lie and not trying to prove it to themselves. And if they was to research their family members, they would discover that their family members was involved in this war and fought on both and fought on both sides of that war. We outnumbered the calm down. We outnumbered the foreigners at that time. And I'm talking about population. We outnumbered them. They only showed you pictures of colored troops, but there are pictures out there of our people, the indigenous people, the Niji, where they were not considered colored. They're not in the colored infantry. They're not in the colored platoon. I'm trying. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna continue. Because you gotta know it. And it's about to get deeper. And we to me, we just scratching the surface. To me, we're just scratching the surface. We're not even. But I'm talking about once you hopefully, sooner or later, y'all start doing y'all genie. Some of y'all need to stop and be for real with yourself. And do your genealogy. Stop taking people's word for it. Because again, you'll find out if your ancestors fought and died in this war or not. You will. And I could guarantee, almost, almost guarantee you. Matter of fact, I'm gonna just say it. Fuck it. I'm gonna guarantee you, all of you in the South have ancestors that's fought in this war. I'm going to just say it. They're fought in this war. And you know, another thing that's sad is that they said that our ancestors were forced into this war because the slave masters made them do it. Stupid. I, I'm sorry. That is so dumb. What makes you think that a, a slave master is going to be okay with giving up their meal? That's the only way they go be able to keep themselves afloat. That's just like a business cutting off its employees and expect the business to continue. It's impossible. The slaves were the laborers, the employees, the servants. They're there to do a job. 
They are not going to send out their workers to go fight in a war and die without immediate replacements. I'm going to go send John out there, my best servant. I'm going to go send him in the war because I can replace him. It didn't work like that. Our ancestors that fought in this war, fought in this war, not because of slavery, because this was their land. The majority of the trade was happening in the South, in the Midwest, especially because they were closest to the Mississippi River. That's where the trade line went. You don't believe me? Why they keep trying to redirect the Mississippi River right now? Lower and upper Mississippi River, by the way. Dynamite blowing it up, trying to redirect to get it closer to them. They could see what's going up and down them streams. They wasn't hitting that Atlantic trying to trade with people. They wasn't hitting the Pacific trying to trade with people. They was going through the now. Otherwise, they it wouldn't have been no great flood that happened due to some form of accretion that they want to come up with. The great flood wouldn't have happened. You wouldn't have to build no damn dams up if you didn't bomb the Mississippi River and try to redirect it. If you would have left that shit alone, but they couldn't because guess who was in control of the trade? We were. How do we lose that? How do we lose that grasp on that trade, Dane? Greed. Those same people that Cat Williams calling out, regardless if they comedians or not, those same type of people existed then. And they look like you and I. They existed then, they exist now. Different toilet, same shit. Again, they didn't win no war against us in the physical. Overall, maybe a few battles, but not no war. So they had to take control of the mindset to make you a prisoner. Mentally. That's why they force feed you these type of stories right now and say this is history. Because that is controlling the narrative. Again, I dare each and every one of you that's listening to me right now to begin your research, your genealogy on your family. Not take no DNA test. I'm not talking about that. That's not the same as having paperwork in your hand. What I mean by that is it's a track record, paper trail of what your ancestors went through. You would discover many things and it's best that you know it. That way, you don't come at me or anybody else similar to me and say that we wrong when you can't regurgitate your ancestors of the 1800s right now by name, note, location, and date. That is an issue. You cannot debunk Dane Calloway for that reason. You need to, again, you need to know your ancestors of the 1800s. Critical. That's critical. Otherwise, you flying blind and letting strangers tell your story for you. I told you that them Africans ain't come till later. 1900s later. 
That means we were here before them. And that's documented. We were here before these people that they labeled Native American way later. Native Americans, the ones that you see right now that they're trying to throw out their Hollywood style to your face to make pretend like it's just them. They show you pictures of plain Indians, then they mix it in with a bunch of Asians and Mexicans and say, wait, that's all because they all look alike. They're going to say they all one people. Uh uh-uh. uh. The plain Indians ain't, it wasn't even taken up the majority of the West Coast, number one. I'm not saying that they weren't there, but they de- definitely were not there in a large mass to make it seem as if they were the only people that were here throughout the Americas. West, Midwest, South, and East, and North. I mean, was it they the ones that force fed us that lie? Talking about something they gave them some disease and the majority of them died? Right? Their population was damn near close to zero. Oh, but all of a sudden, their descendants lasted? And out come all of these people across the world? Well, how come that don't reflect the depictions that other countries of other continents will produce of who they saw on these lands? Not the ones that you recently created in the 1900s. I'm talking about early 1900s, late 1800s, early 1800s, late 1700s, early 1700s, late 1600s, early 1600s. Every single depiction that you try to pull up that is across the world, by the way, look just like you and I. Identical. No, but no, everybody came from Africa. Every Africa's not that big to populate Africa and populate other continents, dumbass. Simultaneously. That movie that Marvel just put out, uh, it was on Disney or something like that. They snitching called Echo. I don't know if y'all got a chance to see it. I ain't going to give away the story. But Echo, the character that they used inside of that little show, the movie thing, uh, they're trying to claim that she's uh, Native American, right? But they also said that the Native Americans are aliens by showcasing you that they came from aliens. They showing you alien people. Wait a minute. Were they trying to tell us that they were foreign to begin with, like everybody else know? That's that deep hidden message they got up in there? They always sprinkle in some truth if you really pay attention. Aliens to this landmass here. Foreigners to this landmass. Everybody else know it but you. They say the Chinese came in the middle of the 1800s. Okay. Well, all of a sudden, we got some Native Americans that look Chinese, and they indigenous to this land? We got Native Americans that look like straight Polish people and they indigenous to this land. You out your mind, ain't you? But Dane, we were mixing. We were mi- Oh, so it was enough. Now, now you're telling me that it was enough foreigners to come over here and mix with all of our people at that time. Now that's what you're telling me.
when the cargo ships ain't coming to the late 1850s and slavery was allegedly abolished in 1863, January 1st, Abraham Lincoln, right? So within that 10 to 15 year time span, they squeezed in that many people, millions of people. You lying, ain't you? Of course you are. Because it's the losers is writing a story. This is how you can combat them. Ain't no winner got to lie about nothing. But a loser would. A loser would never omit to defeat. Not a sore loser. A loser would take that L as a lesson. We're not going to make that same mistake again. But that's not who your enemies are. Your enemies are sore losers. They don't want to be told when they're right or when they're wrong. Prime example. The majority of our people want reparations, deserve reparations, right? But again, the government has not admitted to their wrongdoing to our people still to this very day, 2024. And notice how you ain't get no check cut to you still to this day, 2024. Right? They're never going to admit their wrongdoing. That's how it's designed. So we just go sit back and let them pretend like they need to study it again for a whole nother year. Wait a minute, I thought you was the one that came up with this story. Liar. Why you need to study it? That's a sore loser. You the one that told us this story, but you need to study it more? That's a sore loser. And the reason why Africa ain't step up and say nothing, I'm talking about official governors or whatever they are, prime ministers in Africa ain't step up and lay claim to our people is because they know that we are not the same. They know that that story is bullshit. In fact, anytime you ask an so-called African, the reason why I say so-called is because we're calling them that. That's not what they call themselves. Excuse me. Anytime we ask them about the slave trade, they don't know what we're talking about. Still to this day, the majority of y'all work with some Africans now. Start asking them. Ask them. I dare you. Ask them. I put that on screen numerous times, young and old. Of Africans telling you like, y'all follow for the bull crap. This is how you keep a people oppressed. By, by lying to them and controlling that narrative. Make pretend as if they're at the top. When technically they were always at the bottom. I'm sick of these Europeans. Are you really? Or are you really listening to why they're called Europeans? Again, that landmass is called Eurasia. Not Europe. I'm going to say it again. That landmass is called Eurasia, not Europe. Want to know how I know? Because I got a passport and I traveled. Number one. Number two, they were, they were considered Euro peons because they were the real slaves. What is a peon? What is a Euro? Didn't somebody just donate to me earlier in Euros? Uh-oh. And the peon is the lowest ranking slave, slav, slab, peasant. Which meant that it was willing to undergird as white peasants from Europe with an economic floor. 
Martin Luther King. Look, look. He was trying to tell the truth closer to his demise. Closer. He realized he led his people to a burning house for real. He made a mistake. That's why they got rid of him. And so many other people that tried to warn us in the past about this very same thing here. I know some of y'all like Dane. Dane, get, stay on topic. I am on topic. I just didn't move on to the next session just yet. But some of y'all need to hear this. This is all correlating information. This has to do with you. And what that mean? That was in the past. Your past is affecting you now because you don't know it. What's the saying? If you don't know your history, it's more liable to what? Huh? Huh? It's more liable to repeat itself. This is the reason why this is so critical for our betterment. I'm talking about our people in general. Ain't nobody else been misclassified and reclassified more than us. Not one, I'm talking about name the group, name them. And then they separated the people in races, racial categories. We all fighting to go to the finish line. Wait a minute. Because that race terminology was man-made. I showed you that. That does not exist. But yet we still saying it. That's a race of people. We still saying it. This system is about division. I mean, complete division. I mean, separation. And control. And indoctrination of the people that they feel as though they have control over, meaning that the ones they want to govern. They're going to put out a, a, a movie soon about the Civil War. Because many people out there, including me, to be honest with you, I'm going to be real. Many people out there know it's coming. They said this is the age of information. The majority of it is trying to come out now. We know it's to be true. You know why? Why they got to censor everything that we putting out? No, no, don't say that. Matter of fact, we go consider that alternate news. And then the alternate news got censored, removed, blocked. They don't want that truth out. Only a sore loser going to act like that. Yeah, it's the Great Awakening. They know their time is very limited here. And who was they? Our enemies. If that shoe fit, you wearing it. If you ain't our enemies, you better be right here learning and preparing. Again, it's better to be prepared than to be repaired after the damage is already done. A part of that preparedness is for you to be aware of what really happened versus you hearing it from some foreigner. I'm born and raised here, and so are my family members. I'm not a foreigner. I'm not a foreigner. Ain't no foreigner in my bloodline. The only way I was going to know that is if I did the research on my family, and I did. I got in trouble for displaying <laughs> my research on my family on the internet. I went viral for displaying my research on the internet using my real name. This ain't no stage name. They got up. I'm talking about my family members. It's, but shout out, but may he rest well. Shout out to my grandfather. Was very upset that it was people calling his house phone trolling. The whole time they figured it out. Wait a minute, Dane was not lying. I actually called Dane's grandfather. He picked up. And right now, those folks out there that claim they came from Africa, 
cannot call a single family member right now that resides in Africa. Again, no Af no real African leaders, prime ministers, generals, they ain't going to come out and say nothing because they don't know what you're talking about. They purposely did that to you to put your mind off of America and put your mind on a landmass you ain't never been and probably won't ever visit. Because that allows them more leeway to sneak in and fill in the blanks for their people. So they so they can progress as a so-called race that pushes them up more, edges them up forward. Again, where's the finish line? They want the illusion to be that they are in the front. They know for a fact that when everybody, as far as our people is concerned, wake up and realize what happened, they're going to be further behind us, not even in the back. They, their existence will be six feet. Add two more feet to it, eight feet. A lot of you are, you know, that follow religious practices. A lot of the stuff that we were told as far as what was coming had to deal with your timeline. Whether if you wanted to make it happen right now or not, it's inevitable. We can't hold the Bible up as a sword and win this war. We got to hold up swords and win this war. But they say information is just like holding up a sword. And if you're not in formation, they say information is like a sword. But if you're not in formation, Somebody else is going to be leading the race. It ain't going to be us. You got to get in formation with this information. I see them. I see you two doing that, y'all. I see that. I wasn't trying to say nothing earlier, but I see that. It's always like that, though. Every time we do something like this that's real heavy, they'll do something like this to knock a lot of y'all out of here. That's purposely done. That's not me. I keep telling y'all that. That's not me. My internet is fine. I customize my computer. My streaming computer is fine. That's not me. You, you got to know that. If they don't want to, look, that's their way. That's, they do multiple things to censor people. That's one of them. Because I'm not saying nothing wrong. But I'm saying something wrong in their eyes. It's deep. I, I'm trying to tell you. We, I'm a, so this is what I'm going to do. We're going to move to the second part of the segment. Because right now, I will. Hopefully, I'm not talking to a brick wall. Hopefully, it's going in one ear and staying there and processing within that brain. I hope it ain't coming out the other. I hope you got it. This is the wall right here. Oh, yeah, it's spiritual. Uh-huh. Because you're the chosen people, and they know it. Some of y'all made a laugh. <laughs> How you the chosen people, you can't control yourself. That's the whole point. That's all the more reason why I'm here. Because you cannot be a chosen people if you're being controlled by somebody else. Wake up the warriorship that's within you. That's in your bloodline. Wake it up! That's in your bloodline right now. Right now! 
They know that for a fact. They scared of that. Why you think they throwing our brothers and sisters in jail constantly? Constantly. They scared, ain't they? Wanted to stop Black Panther Party, the Crips, the Bloods, the GDs, the Vice Lords, the BDs. They, they wanted to stop all that because they were afraid that that would actually amount to what they initially were started for, right? Community building, community safety, community enrichment, community enlightenment. Because if you get information, I'm going to say it again. If you get information, you much stronger than the army. You much stronger than the military. You are gods. Yes, you are. You think the chosen people wouldn't be? It's in you right now. Wake it up. And I don't mean hop, skip, and jump, and go outside and start shooting in the air. I'm talking about hop, skip, and jump. Know who your people are and stand firm on who your people are. Rep your people. And let's come together and do something about it. Let's make this positive change for our people right now. Won't got to wait till next year. Won't got to wait 20, 50 years from now. We could do this right now. And that's what they're doing. That's why this is a constant cycle. And they use our own people against us to gatekeep for this reason. They don't want our people uplifting themselves. So who they push out in the forefront are distractions. That's what they want. They don't want to see us elevate. Do you? Because when we elevate, I'm going to tell you where we're going to go. We're going to go to the top floor, the 13th floor. You know, the one they want to skip. Thirteenth floor got the penthouse. It's a it's a lot more people than just that person. That's a it's a lot of people out there that are distraction. Because and they, look and the reason why they know they could do it the way they're doing it is because our people are gravitating towards the arts and entertainment. Because we created the arts and entertainment. Creating a bow and arrow is an art. Creating a tomahawk is an art. Creating buildings, creating castles is an art. Creating guns, creating gunpowder is an art. When I say arts and entertainment, I'm not just talking about what you may assume. A talent is an art. This is the reason why they don't want to see you building. This is the reason why I said during that podcast, YouTube it. The majority of the people that's building is whites. And I said, you are barely going to find our Niji people showing our Niji brothers how to tie a tie on YouTube. Yes, fighting is an art. Farming is an art. Absolutely correct. We got to take this back over. It ain't gone. It's just waiting on us. We got to take control over us first. We don't need nobody else. Never did. We don't need nobody to govern us and rule us. Dictate what's going on. Oh, we got to use this currency. We got to pay these taxes. Uh Uh-uh. Because, nigga, who died and made them king? When I tell you that them folks was coming over here trying to use the Bible against us to try to say it was prophesied that we were supposed to be the ones up under them. I mean that. I'm going to say this again. They used it against us. 
said that we were the cursed ones. And some of our people fell for it. But again, they foreign us from a different landmass. Coming to you lying. They couldn't hit you with a gun or a knife or, or a sword, rather. They had to hit you with a book and say, listen, y'all, it's been prophesied. This is the gospel. Wait a minute. What? Was that, what? that was their meal ticket to take over our mindset. It started right there. And that's history. I'm not knocking your religious belief. I'm telling you what happened. Propagating congregation for propagating the gospel in foreign parts. Them saying, you know, Jane, King James folk, that's who he sent over here. The congregation for propagating the gospel in foreign parts. Listen to that. The congregation for propagating the gospel in foreign parts. This is real. That could be looked up. I don't want you to believe me. I want you to write it down and look it up. I also had that in my book called It Was Told in Reverse because it was told in reverse. Purposely. It's a lot of things that they told us in reverse. We came from Africa. Them, they did. And then they came way later. On top of that, all the more reason why you know they ain't win no wars because they didn't have an army. Number one. And number two, how'd they get here if they did? And then how did they get in shape to win a war when you know them Indians going to be in them trees plucking you with the guns that they created before you even touch the shore? Not just bow and arrows, I said guns. Soon as they see a boat, they don't recognize. Uh, uh, Dane, Big Chief, we got some other foreigners coming. What you want me to do? Snipe them. No problem. Call the rest of them. The all I'm coming. Load up real quick. Sniper! It's that simple. What you think? We just sat back and let them pull up? No, it's fine. We welcome foreigners. Pull up. Come on. Nah. -uh. We're going to sit with you and eat with you. Yeah, come on. This is going to be called Thanksgiving. We're going to sit and eat with you, pilgrims. It's okay. Come on. We're not going to do anything to you. We're not going to kill you. Yeah, okay. Let somebody walk up in your house right now. You don't know who they are? You got them kids sleep in the other room? What you going to do? You going to sit there and like, oh, meet me at the dinner table. What you going to do? You going to sit there? And not do nothing? I guarantee everybody in this chat strap. Ain't nobody, ain't no way you coming up in somebody's house and leaving, breathing. Yeah. Especially if they don't know you. It's going to be more than this. Sniper! It's going to be as soon as you crack the door, it's going to be... And then if you make it through the door, you lucky you made it through the door. Don't get it twisted. That might have been the husband that went like this. But guaranteed the wife got the... And then the whole door blow up. And then you explain to the police officers, well, uh, I wasn't expecting company. I, I'm just saying, I wasn't expecting no company. I mean, you can't take me to jail because these are, these are some strangers. I didn't welcome these people. Leaving them, huh? Huh? Not even a pastor going to welcome you in his house. You know how the pastors be like, well, come on down here. Come on down here to the altar, y'all. 
Stand up. If you new here, stand up and come on down to the altar. You pull up at a pastor's house. And he don't know who you are. He not expecting no company. A pastor might say a quick five second prayer for you. <laughs> and that's it. Kaboom. You out of there. And right after that, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We're good in here. Praise the Lord. Where did you come from? But you're dead now. I'm calling the police. Praise the Lord. We ain't falling for that right now. Ain't no way we fell for that back then. Ain't no way. Even elders ain't letting that fly. Your elders are not letting that fly. Guaranteed your elders are strapped. I'm talking about everybody that's watching, their elders are strapped. Ain't no way. You know, grandma packing that small one. Granddaddy got that. Huh? You ain't about to walk up in the elder house and you about to get away. Breathing. That's not going to happen. And it didn't happen back then neither. And our people still falling for that? We we believe in that they actually came? Thanksgiving is the celebration of Christopher Columbus Day. He discovered America. Really? He discovered America, but yet we were already here. He discovered America for who? Because it wasn't for us. And just because that nigga allegedly came don't mean that he created America and he need to be celebrated. And before, you know, before we stopped celebrating Thanksgiving for that reason, a lot of our people was like, oh, shoot. We got to celebrate Christopher Columbus. Why is Christopher Columbus being held up so high? I'm talking about through school and all that. They was holding Christopher Columbus up high. But they ain't tell us no person that allegedly captured enslaved Africans from Africa and brought them over here. No, no, no. But they told you about Christopher Columbus. They didn't tell, they ain't named one per. No, 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 no worry about who captured them. They captured them and brought them over here as slaves. Who was they? Who? Some white folks, some Europeans. But, but that's not what this is. That's not what this is about. We're going to celebrate Christopher Columbus. You doing the same thing, ain't you? Oh, you, you going to fill in the blanks, huh? We were, we were captured by Europeans and brought over here in chains and shackles. It sounds like you leaning in that Bible too much because that's the only book where that's popping up at. When it come to records, that ain't popping up. What if Duna Romney was about them? And they turned it on you. Uh-oh. Huh? What if Deuteronomy was about them and they turned it on you? Just so they could attach themselves to the sovereign land. Land of the free, home of the brave. But they teaching us that we the cursed people? It's always told to us in reverse. That's why I say we the chosen. We the chosen. They know better than that, and you should too. Curse for what we do. What we need to be cursed for. Shit. I mean, if anything, it should have been because some of our tribes allowed y'all niggas in here. Like, you know what I'm saying? But that's punishable guy by God. God didn't allow that to happen, and now you're gonna wait a minute. I mean, shit, we, we go down south right now. The southern hospitality is what? Welcoming people in, open arms. Hey, baby, how you doing? Here's a plate. 
Go ahead and help yourself if you want some more. Are they being cursed too? No, 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 baby. Don't, don't, don't touch that chicken right there. I just put that out. Finish up that plate that's over there. They not being cursed. But yeah, we being cursed because what? We allowed them in here? They sent the children. You know what our people did? Oh, look, y'all, they so poor. They sent their children over here. We can't let them die. Come on, we're going to adopt some of them in our families because it takes a village to raise a child. We... I'm going to talk to you today. I'm going to talk to you today. I ain't even get to the second part yet. But the ancestors working through me, and I'm going to let it happen here. Yeah? I'm going to let it happen. You go get taught. You go get it today. Nah, they said that we would curse, as if we did something wrong, and they ain't never explained what we did wrong. What did we do? I mean, well, I mean, it's because we black, Dane. It's because we black. No, nah, we the, the Jacob this and the John that and the Matthew this and the. Wait a minute, slow down. What, hold on, stop. What, what do we do? What, why God say we got to? Nah, but you see, it, the thing, what I'm saying is, and then, with, they skip that, right? And then, he only going to accept 144,000 people. What? A county in the smallest state of America has a bigger population than that. 144,000? You mean to tell me a county in the smallest state of America? Listen. How come these foreigners are having their heaven right here on earth, but you got to die to experience, to experience yours? How come these foreigners are having their heaven right here on earth, but you got to die to experience yours. I mean, but that's because uh, it, it was written. It was written. Sound like you cursing yourself. That's what it sound like to me. And notice how I ain't had to go on your religion that one time, did I? Did I? This is called critical thinking. But this verse said, but that's that same verse that they gave our ancestors and said that was true, right? They came over here and told us, Congregation for Propagating the Gospel in foreign parts told us that we were the cursed ones. Well, with some type of way, we got to stop these niggas from rebelling against us. We got to come up with something. Uh, what should we tell them, y'all? I don't know. Use the Bibli Biblios. Use the Bibli. Oh, the Bible. Yeah, use the Bible. Rename it and say King James did it. He's the king. That king title is going to stick with them. Use it. You sure? I'm sure. And then turn to Deuteronomy and show them how they were cursed. How can I show them? I don't know. Think of something. Just tell them. Tell them they cursed so they can stop killing us. Mr. Indian, I swear, this is the truth. Read this Bible. Praise God that you're still here. Indian, praise God. That's the white folks telling our people that? The European had the right to teach us the gospel. And the ones that was like, yes, Massa, I'll do anything for you, Massa became priests and pastors of their many denominations of the Christian society back then. And we holding them up high. What Malcolm X say? You had a field Negro and a house Negro, right? Both of them was getting paid, but one of them was receiving favoritism. Because they was, that's what they was doing. 
Oh, you know they not about to send that house Negro to no silver war. They definitely not about to send that field Negro to no silver war. He need both. And look how they make it seem. They try to make it seem like that's all our ancestors were doing as far as our jobs are concerned. They try to make it seem like we was working for the European only. As if we wasn't working for ourselves and we had our own businesses. We had our own farms. We had our own lands. They got our people thinking that we should be less than. We were the victims. We were the victims, but different from what you may believe. We the victims of oppression, Dane. I agree with you. But the oppression part starts with your mentality. Again, just like that lady said, and you may have heard Kanye West say, slavery was a choice. Of course it is. You won't ever catch a jail or prison. For example, unleashing their slaves, prisoners, you name it, out in the open field, one supervisor, no gate. And look, they painted that same picture for you, showing that our ancestors were not in chains and shackles, but was, was, but was in one field, one supervisor, no gate. If it was something wrong, we were whole tail away from that territory. Quick. But dang, the, the, the one, the slave catches, dang, the slave catches. Oh, what they going? Hurry up and ring a bell and that entire big ass state that's in the South, for example, go be able to hear that bell. Oh, he going to rush to go make a phone call in the house. And they going to make a beeline down to that so-called plantation. Oh, oh, that, that, that so-called Negro can't get far enough because he or she ain't had no shoes on, but yet they was working out in the field. They wouldn't know where to go because that's where they were born and raised. That's what they made you believe, right? Again, they tried to make believe that you were less than and our people fell for it. When you were always greater than. Always, even back then. I also showed you right after slavery was allegedly abolished, 1863, our ancestors became millionaires? I showed you that Frederick Douglass video. What? He became a millionaire after saying that his aunt, his mother was enslaved? Wait a minute. The, the, oh, now the white folks trust him? Want him in the government? Hold up. I mean, you tried to make it seem like it was this big deal now. For example, you got Frederick Douglass in the government as an advisor. You got Frederick Douglass in a million dollar home. It's equivalent to a million dollars, actually more than that. And what you going to say that he got all his money from white people that was donating to him? Uh huh? I, I, wait a minute. What? I thought you said the white people oppressed us. Would they change their mind in like five to seven years? It ain't adding up, is it? Our ancestors was working for somebody or they was working for themselves. And same thing with the foreigners that's coming over here. You know why? Because this same thing is still happening right now. It ain't, it ain't no different. That's why I say slavery was employment. It's the same thing. What you think slavery was about? A 
Again, if they had changing shackles on our ancestors' feet while they was working out on the farm or out in the field, right? What was the chains and shackles attached to? The leg of the horse? The arm of the slave master? Nah, Dane, they had a big tree. And they tied it to a tree. They, huh? They Wait a minute, so you, you mean to tell me they put a chain on a tree? Like that can't snap? If you haul off running? Jimmy, look, Jimmy. He about to put that chain on that tree. All right, Rebecca, when I say go, let's go. You mean to tell me we wasn't going to do that? Shh, Rebecca, don't say nothing now. I see you smiling. Just make pretend like we under oppression. And when I say go, we're going to run straight in them fields and they ain't going to be able to see us. You ready? I'm ready, Jimmy. You mean to tell me we ain't going to work together? If any of that was actually true now. No, Dane, they had metal poles out there that the chains was attached to. How come they not in the pictures? Oh, wait a minute. You using your imagination? Oh, bless your heart. You using your imagination. Look at how cute. Oh, man, they put a metal pole out there and attached the chains to it and made sure everybody was locked up with chains and shackles out there that was working in them farms. Oh, that's why they had one supervisor. Bless your heart. They had one supervisor that had one gun. Musket at that. It's going to take him a long ass time to reload. He may be able to take one person out. Five. And you mean to tell me them five, six more people can't jump on him on that horse? Smack that horse on his butt and that horse running off. And you take whatever you got as far as your tools where you was working out in them farms and stab the shit out that nigga. And it's over with. And can't nobody hear his cries because he further away from the house. You mean to tell me that couldn't happen? No, dang slavery was not a choice. Slavery is a choice. Do you want to work right now? You don't got to work right now. They try to make pretend like this is, you know, it's mandatory. By giving you what? Bill after bill, taxes after taxes. Did we have that before? The reason why I'm bringing this up is because what? Did Frederick Douglass had to continue to pay on his house? Or he put one lump sum. That's it. It's over with. Small amount, but large enough back then. He ain't going to get no mortgage or nothing like that, did he? He ain't had to pay property taxes or nothing like that, did he? Huh? They wasn't pulling out no taxes out of his check when he was getting paid as a, for example, as a U.S. Marshal, was he? Uh-uh. He wanted to get married to a white woman and did. Did they have an issue with that? Did they stop him? Was that against the law? And he was right there in the heart of D.C. And they posted that in the newspaper. Ain't nobody go kill that nigga. He can't let no nigga man, no white man go get him. And he working in the government and the president hired him. So made that up. Look at that timeline. Ain't too far away from slavery, is it? You mean to tell me that our ancestors were able to build banks, 150 of them, by the way? Thousands and thousands of jobs at that time? But we was just slaves five years before that. Three years before that. I'm talking about they tried to say that we were the lowest of the low, right? It's that simple, critical thinking. This is what they don't allow the children to utilize inside of the school system, still to this very day. Compulsory education. That's perp. Now, that's the one that's mandatory. That's the one that's mandatory. That's, that's the one where they say that you ain't got no choice. 
But yet, we seeing a lot of successful people right now that's millionaires, billionaires, ain't touch college not one time. Some mom barely got a uh, high school education. Andrew Johnson was illiterate. For example, le- oh yeah, let me before I go into any further, but yeah, let me let me just say that he was illiterate. That's what they said. He didn't even know how to read. He didn't know how to write. And Abraham Lincoln said, come on, I need you. Come on, I want you to be my vice president. Again, he didn't know how to read or write. (laughs) I bet y'all know that. And he became vice president. Huh? Education is important. I agree. But it depends on what curriculum you're teaching. Or curriculums, plural. Our ancestors fought and died for that flag that you see. What grave you think he's standing in? You think it wasn't nothing but white people right there? Huh? I'm going to let it sink in. I'm going to let that sink in. Some of them tombstones don't got no names on it. But you're going to say those was white folks? Huh? As small as those tombstones are, you're going to say those white folks? If they actually did a project where they excavated parts of America, especially in the South, it ain't going to be nothing but our people. Up and down, especially this shit, the whole East Woodland area and the West Coast, <laughs> low key. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna play this. Let me, let me play this other one. Let's get straight into it. Might as well, because because I'm talking about it now. Let's get straight into it. I hope y'all enjoyed that part. I hope some of y'all take what I said the best way that you can. You know, and understand that I'm not playing with you. What I just told you was the truth. Some of y'all needed to hear that. Probably ain't here before. So this is what we going to do. So this particular video right here, the second part, and we going to go further. Just fair warning. Now, this part, I'm going to pause and talk. Maybe not constantly, but I, I am going to talk. I, I want to hear your take on certain things. So it's going to be, you know, allowing the chat to participate what we got going on right now. This is how people learn. Y'all got to understand that. Just like what? In a classroom, right? Allegedly, because the majority of the time, the teacher is telling the student to hold all of their questions until the end of the lesson. Oh, don't interrupt me. Let me get this curriculum out first. And they barely remember what their question is at the end, right? Mrs. Teacher, Mrs. Teacher, I got a question. Dang, stop asking me questions. I'm finishing it. Listen, you want to go to detention? That's exactly what happened, right? Anybody that went to school with me, what did Dane Calloway do? I always interrupted the teacher. Yeah, those that went to school with me, no, I ain't lying. I mean, sometimes I pissed off the class. But wait a minute, Mr. Curry, the class is like, oh, dang, I'm trying to go outside. Hold on, I got a question. You could go outside when you go home. Oh, no, I got a question. What what, what are you teaching us? Where is this coming from? I was that student. And, you know, they call us the troublemakers. Try to throw us in detention for asking a question. Huh? Try to put us outside and sit in the chair. Just wait till the class is up because the teacher couldn't deal with you. They couldn't deal with a student that asked a question. Not too many questions. A question. Why? Because the teacher didn't have an answer. They just there to get paid. I'm just saying. Was the Civil War story we were told a lie? Uh Uh-oh. All right, we starting right off. Let's go. Was the Civil War story we were told a lie? Now, what I'm about to do is provide some information that could assist you with answering this question. 
I assume that many of you may be aware of the story that we were told surrounding the Civil War that took place in America beginning in 1861 and coming to a close in 1865 when the Confederate troops allegedly surrendered to the Union. Now I am saying allegedly because I would like for you all to question everything that you were ever told about this story and come to your conclusions after I share a little bit of information that you may be unaware of. Mind you that I'll be sharing more details about this in a later video, so there are no right or wrong answers here at this time. My focus is on making you think about those things that you were told were truthful and accurate and labeled as official American history. Now according to what we were told about the cause of the Civil War, it was said that the Southerners wanted slavery to continue while the Northerners wanted to emancipate all enslaved people and that this disagreement led to both sides wanting to harm each other. But what isn't so clear is who exactly agreed and disagreed with this alleged reason as to why war can be the only possible answer to resolve their differences. Who had the means and the capability to manipulate the public to choose a side? And why was it so important for the Union Hold States up. of America? I, I am. I'm, we, we're going to talk about this. This is a classroom, y'all. I just want y'all to uh, let this marinate. I'm talking about, you know, the, that type of marinade that you make when you add the steak to it. And you, hey, shout out to the ladies that be cooking out there. The men, they're going to probably want some steak and marinade. I'm just, I'm helping the men out right now. And the ladies, I'm giving y'all shout But the whole point is this, right? I'm a little marinade who had the means and the capa I mean, capability to manipulate the public to choose a side. Don't forget. That at this time, prior to the war, there was no president of the South, meaning strictly for the South. But if there was a disagreement in which they allege that there was a disagreement, who was at the forefront of that disagreement? Dang, wait a minute. It was political. It was political? Oh, so you're saying that the North is the Republicans and the Southerners was the Democrats? That's what you're saying? I'm, I'm just going to look in the chat real quick. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm looking in the chat real quick. Who was that? Who was the one that was at the forefront to manipulate the public to choose a side? That was, I'm talking about prior to the Confederate States even existing. I'm talking about the reason why they're allegedly claiming that, again, the Northerners wanted slavery to be abolished and the Southerners did not. Was this a political move? Now, I see Randy said it was the Democrats. Manifesting energy saying Freemasons. Bobby said North. Okay. And, and R. Lowry said Quakers. All right. Okay. Less, okay. I see you, Travis. German bankers. Now, I just want y'all to understand. I want you to really pay attention and hone into that part right there. Prior to the Civil War occurring, right then, at that time, we had newspapers. Okay? As far as getting the message across. How was this influence? How was the Southerners? Yeah, let me say it that way. How was the Southerners influenced to say, hey, we standing against that. We, we standing against their belief. How was the Southerners even aware of the Northerners' belief? How, wait a minute. How? And then look, who was to say, who was at the forefront of the Northerners' belief to say, hey, this is what the Northerners wanted officially? And, 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 and who was at the uh, front of the Southerners saying, hey, the Southerners, this is what they want. This is official. I'm the, I'm the main representative of the Southerners. Who was that? Again, that was prior to the Confederate States and the president being picked. All uh, right, Turtle Island, R said Abraham. Very interesting. Barbara said traveling preacher. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, now I said newspaper. So if it's traveling by newspaper, right, we're, we're going to, I'm just letting that sink and I'm glad that y'all getting it all out. 
So it could, again, don't forget that that's not, right now, reality, that's not made clear. Is it? What we're right, what we're doing right now is assuming we're using our imagination. Listen, because it's not documented as to who was at the forefront on both sides to say, hey, choose a side. We can name multiple politicians. Listen, we can name newspapers. But who was that one that said, no, this is what the Southerners want? Whose word are we taking? This is what the Southerners want. Whose word are we taking? Okay. Oh, okay. Jackson? No, no, no. Okay. Not yet. I'm talking about prior, but okay. I'm talking about before the president was picked for the Confederate States, before the Confederate States was established, when they were having an issue, alleged issue, the Northerners and the Southerners, who was at the forefront of each of them? Now, we could probably say Abraham for the North, but who could we say for the South? Who was at the forefront speaking up for the entire South? saying, this is what we want. A lot of y'all saying pastors and churches. Okay, spiritual vibes said landowners. All right. Generals. Uh, okay, so I'm going to keep it moving. I'm liking these guesses. But keep in mind, they guesses. To manipulate the public to choose a side. Choose a side. And why was it so important for the Union States of America to retrieve the 11 Confederate States of America that seceded from the Union? Why was the Union so zoned in on trying to get the rest of the states that seceded from them? Why was that so important? If they said, nah, uh-uh, that ain't it. We ain't falling for that. We gone. We up out of here. Why was it so important for the union to be like, no, please. No, we need you. We got to get them. We got to get them, y'all. Come on. Employment? Okay, keep going. What happened? Bankers? Land? Capitalism? Taxes? I like these guesses. I like these. Majority rule? That's a good one. I like that. I like that. St. Louis, what? <laughs> All right. Uh, I like, okay. I'm going to keep it moving. And by the way, did you know that it was more than 11 states that seceded from the union? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. More about that in a second. But first, let's go over the states that were allegedly involved on both sides. The union states were Maine, New York, New Hampshire, Vermont, Massachusetts, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, Kansas, Michigan, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Iowa, California, Nevada, and Oregon, making it a total of 20 Union states. Keep in mind, that's alleged. And the Confederate states were Texas, Arkansas, Louisiana, Tennessee, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, Florida, South Carolina, North Carolina, and Virginia, which brings the total to 11 Confederate states. But what you may be unaware of are the so called border states and if they joined the Confederate states or stayed with the Union. These so-called border states were Kentucky, Missouri, West Virginia, Delaware, and Maryland. According to the Britannica Encyclopedia, there were also strong secession movements in the border states of Maryland, Kentucky, and Missouri. In Kentucky, a meeting of delegates declared that state out of the Union. Mm -hmm. And in Missouri, 
a fragment of the legislature passed a succession ordinance. Kentucky and Missouri were admitted to the newly established Confederate States of America, mm. bringing the total of breakaway states to 13. Mm. But the action of both states was irregular. End quote. Okay, so now you are aware that it was a total of 13 states and not 11 that left the Union and joined the Confederate States 13. of America, they go that which leaves the so-called border states of Maryland, Delaware, and West Virginia. Even though Maryland did not officially secede from the Union, Maryland was not a free state. It was a slave state. Okay. So do you think they wanted to emancipate the enslaved people of Maryland? <laughs> Now, Delaware remained neutral, and West Virginia was a direct creation of the Civil War when Union troops gained control over Western Virginia and forced a proposition of West Virginia to become an official free state under Union control in 1863, bringing the official total of Union states to 22 and not 23 as some may claim that Maryland fought on the side of the Union when Maryland was known as a slave state during this time. Now, I'm going to let that sink in. I'm going to let that sink in. That was 20. 20, hold on, 23. I'm trying to come back real, like, right there. Twi uh, hold on. 1863, right here. 1863. Now, they're trying to say that West Virginia was a part of it. But it didn't join the Union until 1863. Again, that's the same time period where we were told that the Emancipation Proclamation was signed January 1st, 1863. Virginia came a little late, didn't it? But you still going to count the men. Okay. I'm just letting it sink in. 1863 bringing the official total of Union states to 22 and not 23, as some may claim that Maryland fought on the side of the Union when Maryland was known as a slave state during this time and did not immediately emancipate their slaves when Abraham Lincoln's Emancipation Proclamation was posted on January 1st, 1863. So now that's 22 Union states versus 13 Confederate states, Allegedly. which would lead you to believe that the Confederate states were outnumbered in the population count of their troops. But if the Confederate army was outnumbered by the Union army, would they have gone about causing a war to erupt in the first place? First place. Mm. This isn't some war hero fictional movie. This was real life taking place. Why would anyone attempt to cause a war with someone when they are outnumbered, outgunned, or even outclassed by the opposition? Yes, mm. people would go out and die for a cause, but what's the point of going out to die for that cause if it wouldn't be anyone left to pass the torch to? Mm. Did you know that the majority of the original U.S. Army resigned and joined the Confederate Army instead. All right, hold up. Before we get into that, I want to quickly, we, we, class, we, we're doing a class type thing quickly. Let's go over this real quick. Give me the top five United States. Or should I say it like this? Give me the top five biggest states of America. Top five. I want to see the largest states of America, the top five. Okay, Texas. All right. California. The top five, Florida. Oh. <laughs> Y'all know y'all can see this, right? That, that now, you know, I don't normally ask you to Google something. But that's something you could Google. 
The top five. Now, and, and here's the point that I'm making here. Out of the top five, how many of those fives, five states, were in the Confederate? Allegedly. Let's go here. Just in case you need to see this. Okay. Notice this picture, though, y'all. I want just bear with me on this one. Let, let, let's let's talk real quick, real quick. I'm about to come back to that video real quick. Let's talk. They claim that Oregon and California was a part of the Union States. D.C., Washington, D.C. is over here. I want y'all to explain to me how Oregon and California, if this was true, had to come through the Nevada Territory, the Utah Territory, Colorado Territory, or New Mexico Territory, and what? Go head up with Texas and maybe all the rest of them? Where was California in this for real? Troops were in California. Like, how, how was you... D.C. all the way on the other side. Look, how, how are you? How are you governing California? I mean, did they have a plane to go straight across? We talking about HA sixty one? Uh uh. Did they call them? Hey y'all, we need y'all to handle Texas for us. Wait a minute. Okay, plane, calling them. Here's another thing. California is huge, number one. Let, let's, let's minus Oregon real quick. California is huge, one of the biggest states. Do you think any of the troops that's allegedly native to California are going to be familiar with the Nevada Territory, Utah Territory, Colorado Territory, New Mexico, any of these territories... And then, Texas, you coming in blind, ain't you? Uh-uh, listen. No, 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 listen. That's like me telling you to move to California without setting it up for you. Meaning, hey, I got a house for you. It's in such and such area. You're going to be good. Everything's going to be good. There's a job set up for you. You mean to tell me you sent troops from California on a mission, blind, to a territory they never visited before? Keep this in mind. If they had troops in Cali, if they had troops in Cali, how do we know if they have or have not visited Texas before? All of them. And Texas is a big state. I'm just letting it sink in now. Now, these other states over here that were claimed, you know, to be a union, uh, in the union, rather, I also, sooner or later, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to put this out, but you could go behind me and check. I want y'all to realize that a lot of these territories were also combined. These little black lines that you see are imaginary. Meaning that somebody laid claim to those un unincorporated lands and named that territory that name. That does not mean that they are separate. Same thing with every other state. With every other state. 
But again, if I send you from D.C. to Cali, you never been. How are you going to survive if I ain't got you set up? Again, if I'm sending you from Cali to Texas, how are you going to win anything if you don't know nothing about Texas? You're going in blind. I, I'm going to just let that sink in. We're going to continue. Now, I'm sure there's a bunch of stories floating around about the number of troops that left the Union Army to join the Confederate Army, and they would try to make it seem as if Abraham Lincoln wasn't struggling to find or garner new troops to join his army of the mm. Union. Mm. Okay, now listen. When the Confederate Army was established, there was a drastic shortage of troops with the Union Army to the point where Abraham Lincoln was forced to ask Congress to garner non-military trained volunteers to join his army and fight on the side of the Union. Was forced to ask Congress to garner non-military trained. I'ma let this sink in. Now, Congress could be lying about that number, 75,000. They could be. But then again, we got millions of foreigners coming over here right now. What did Trump say day before yesterday or was it last night? It's over a million. They coming over here for a reason. Still to this very day, right? Abraham Lincoln said, oh, my God, we don't have enough troops. You think the Confederate Army going to sit there and wait for them to get some troops? No, no, hurry up. We're going to make it even, y'all. We'll wait. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. We'll give you some time. Go ahead. Go ahead. We'll turn our back for a second. Make sure you don't got no Army trained people with you. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Get some volunteers. Get some, get some foreigners. That's all we're going to allow. Big... The Confederate go sit and wait. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Volunteers to join his army and fight on the side of the Union. The majority of these volunteers that enlisted in the Union Army were immigrants from France and Germany that recently migrated to places like New York and Pennsylvania. Ooh, I bet y'all didn't know that. The majority of these volunteers were immigrants from France and Germany, having recently migrated to New York and Pennsylvania, seeking asylum. Uh-oh. Takes us back to that California question. Wait a minute. If they ain't have no troops, but they had to get volunteers, how did them folk... Listen. How? Uh, again. <laughs> let's, let's go over it again. New York and Pennsylvania. You mean to tell me, hey, I need 13,000 of y'all to go to California and fight and represent California? Wait a minute, how? New York, Pennsylvania, how you getting to California? Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. You had enough troops in California? See how that's not being told? This is real easy. It's not being told for a reason. <laughs> New York or Pennsylvania. Germany and France. Language barrier. Oh, come on, tap it too. Bien, merci. Bien, merci. Now, we need you to shoot that weapon. Uh, uh, we, we, we. They don't know what you're talking about. Hold up your weapon, soldier. Right now. Uh, 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 we, we, they, they know what? They just recently came to New York and Pennsylvania and they ready for war? <laughs> huh? Think they was lying to you? Volunteers that enlisted in the Union Army were immigrants from France and Germany 
that recently migrated to places like New York and Pennsylvania, for example, looking for hot meals and a steady income. <clears throat> and again, these people were not trained in any fashion in military combat. The majority of the troops that joined the Confederate Army were professionally trained and combat ready. From well, look at how big that gun is. A combat. The majority of the troops that joined the Confederate Army were professional. That gun so big is sitting on his lap and his lap. And you gonna mean to tell me that you gonna handle somebody like this? Not only do they got machetes, he got pistol here, pistol here, he got one right here. And they got this big musket right here, bruh. You, you, huh? And you sending untrained volunteers to go, huh? And he, look at that musk, look at that. You mean to tell me? And look, here's another thing. Notice how it's a knee jeep. What he next to? trained in combat. Uh-oh, next to a Caucasian. Do he look like a slave to you? You mean to tell me he, they gonna hand the slave pistols? A machete and a musket. Woo! Huh? He look afraid? Nah, he look like he ready. He trying to get this over with. That Caucasian look afraid to me. Oh shit! Um, his eyes wide open. The need you looking like? Yeah, I got this shit. <laughs> it ain't seen shit. You see this big ass gun on my lap? That's what it looked like to me. Yeah, let's hurry up and get this over with. Go ahead and take this picture. I'm ready. I'm ready. Mean to tell me what? Think that boy not ready? He woo. And keep in mind, he is the one that got his hand on that mob, that thing right there. Huh? And look at how he got his pistol position. That's that quick draw position. Whew. Huh? Think our boys was at the Cowboys here? Yeah? I'm trying to tell you. Quick draw position. Ready to fire. you Already loaded. I'm trying. Uh, but, but hold on. But wait. Let, let, me, let me stick to it. They say it. That they sent non-military trained volunteers from France and Germany to go fight them? Professionally <laughs> trained in combat ready from well-respected and experienced generals uh -oh. to high-ranking officers. Uh -oh. The Confederate Army was the original U.S. Army. I, I'm just saying, wait a minute, wait a minute. If he was a slave, I, woo, I'm gonna just... We just scratching the surface. If that Niji brother was a slave, why he standing up and got his arms on them? If this was about trying to abolish slavery, but the Southerners ain't want to do it, something not adding up, is it? Look closely. Look close. My military folk out there, what this mean? What this badge right here mean? Because look, if you looking, don't he got that same badge on? What this badge right here mean, y'all? Look at it. He got it on. And so does he. We talking about high-ranking officers now. Nah, that ain't the star, David. Try again. Try again. Look at that. 
Oh, yeah. That is a big, what you're looking at right now is a high ranking officer. Right now. Does he look like he Paul to you? He got on a three piece suit and think he ain't strapped here. Nah, -uh, not Freemasonry. You don't see them hiding their hands, do you? We're going to get to that in a second. You're going to see some people that's doing that, but not right here. Yeah, that boy clean as a whistle, top bottom. That's right. Uh huh. Does it look like they upset because he got his hand on him? Does it look like they upset? Congressional Medal of Honor, close. Try again. Y'all can look this up. Screenshot it if you need to. Both of them got it on. Uh-uh, not five-star general. Y'all about to... Y'all got close. Yeah, buddy. Mm -mm, not operations officer. Uh-uh. Nope, not Marines. This is Army. <laughs> Somebody said plantation owners. Nah. Secret Service? Uh-uh. Uh-oh. I think somebody got it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Hold up. Before I say that's official, let me see if somebody else go. Okay. 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 When I say that these are high-ranking officers, I'm not kidding. <laughs> I'm, I'm giving it away by telling you that right there. Woo! The president was the commander-in-chief of the Army and the Navy. That's what they say the president is. A president is the commander in chief of the army and the navy, not the United States. Originally, a president is the commander in chief of the army and the navy. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Uh huh. Think big. Ain't nothing small about this one here, baby. Nothing. I will let y'all get this because I want y'all to understand, again, with him being a high-ranking officer, number one, would they allow a Negro slave to become higher than them? Hmm? Would they allow a Negro slave to become higher than them? In rank. Somebody got the same badge on. Oh boy. I see a lot of y'all saying it. I, I just want the people to see, I'm purposely doing this. Because it's the only way it's going to sink in. It's the only way. Because if you go find out on your own, it makes it even better. Shout out to y'all that got it, though. I see y'all. Trust me. But I'm trying to give them a second to get it. Like, I see a lot of guesses. But this ain't hard to pull up now. Yeah, buddy. Uh, uh, uh huh. You right. You don't got it. Uh uh. You got it. You right. <laughs> you right. He got that victory cigar ready, don't he? Look, look at his hand. 
He got that victory cigar ready right there, don't he? What you gonna say? That's a cane? That is a cigar. We talking about generals, baby. Generals. Commanders. We were at the top. And our people were led to believe that our ancestors did not fight in a large mass, as far as the soldiers are concerned, within that war. The Civil War, to be exact. I challenge you. I'm going to continue on. I challenge you to do your genealogy on your family because you won't ever know until you go find out. Not everybody in your family can recall their ancestors in the 1800s, but those records exist. I want you to believe me on that note and trust me on that as well. But the only way it's going to become your reality is if you go find out. And why I, why I say this is because don't allow them to tell you that those records do not exist, but yet they have pictures. Oh, but yet they have the correct account. Don't believe that. Do not believe that. Do not take that word for it. Do not take my word for it. It's up to you. Don't be lazy because your ancestors are dependent on that. And then it's going to show you why you're the chosen one. These foreigners that came over here needed our help. Because not only did we be, uh, progress us, we progressed them. And no, we were not just some slaves to some white slave master. No, it didn't work that way. We were not slave captives from Africa. It didn't work that way. 1861, Abraham Lincoln requested 75, according to Congress, 75,000 non-military trained volunteers And you mean to tell me <laughs> that they captured us from Africa? <laughs> but they needed help in 1861? We're fighting the people that was already here? It wasn't enough? Dang, why did the army go with the Confederate States? Why you think? They were about bringing people together in the South. Yeah, you're going to find racism and prejudice throughout the South. You are. But when they say Southern hospitality, they're referring to our people or how we did welcome some foreigners in and took care of them. When I told you earlier, or oh, did I say it earlier? But I know I said it numerous times. It wouldn't be no them if it wasn't for us. If it wasn't for us, it would be no them. They needed our help in order to survive in an unknown territory. Goes back to that same example. Those people were, were residing in, newly residing in uh, New York and Pennsylvania, right? If they were shipped to California, who is going to teach them how to survive in California? The indigenous people that were already there. You can't be coming over here and firsthand you know what to do in order to keep yourself afloat and so you and your loved ones can survive. In a totally different landmass, you have no idea. Right now, we lucky that we got GPS to find gas stations if we on the road, rest stops. They even put signs up, right? Just imagine at a time where they don't have those rest, uh, rest stop signs up on the highway and no GPS and no cell phone, but yet you got to try to survive in an unknown territory. Huh? 
Huh? Civil war. Civil war. Civilized. Who was civilized? We need them to bring it down, tone it down to our liking. But if the army went with the South, something was already done to their liking. Woo, wisdom show. Hospitality equals civilization. Ooh, y'all on point to y'all on point tonight. I'm proud of y'all. Y'all on point tonight. Those of you that's learning tonight, take heed of what we're teaching you. Yeah, it's no surprise that you were lied to about your history, but I want you to understand that you were lied to, and I'm going to tell you what the real deal is. Notice how I ain't cut no music on. You hear my sexy ass voice right now, don't you? I'm up on the mic. You getting all this sexiness tonight. They ain't stop saying that. <laughs> stop saying. You getting all this sexiness tonight. This information is sexy, ain't it? Let me stop it. Come on. All right, let's come on. Well respected and experienced generals to high ranking officers. I gave it away right there. That's why I paused it. Notice how I just said that. Listen. I mean, were professionally trained and combat ready. From well respected and experienced generals mm. to high ranking officers, mm. the Confederate Army was the original U.S. Army, to put it in plain terms. So, how did the Union win if the Army fought? on the side of the Confederate States of America. Look at your man. I, I'm just saying, look at how decorated he is. Y'all gotta let that sink in. My brother is decorated. Decorated, decorated. He more decorated than your grandmother's kitchen, your grandmother's living room, your grandmother's dining room. He is more decorated than your grandmother's house. Look at, look at him. Look at him. And you gonna spit on a flag as if it's racist. It's, it, it's against your people. And he decorated. And you gonna knock him for saving your ass? Or trying to keep things together for the better. Our people ain't just going to hop, skip, and jump for no reason, are we? We ain't doing that right now. But, I mean, I want you to tell me what he did to be this decorated right now. You see that face? Do he look like he worried or do he look like he'll. I'm going to keep a professional. Or does he look like I'm, I'm talking about it. Hmm? Them high cheekbones. Look at that Indian right there. Look. Uh, Dane, calm down. Look at this Indian. That's right. He got the purple heart on the left. God damn it. Look at him. Or on his right, on his right, our left. That is amazing. And that's not being brought up. That's not being talked about. We just leaving it alone. Yeah, our people fought in that war. Yeah, I mean, so what, dang? So what? How is that going to change anything? And I'm telling you how it changes everything. I mean, but what can that do for us right now, Dane? <laughs> Number one, it'll wake you up. 
Number two, you ain't going to lay claim that you was cursed. You're going to know that you was the chosen. Number three, you ain't going to misrepresent that Confederate flag no more. You're going to represent that Confederate flag. Especially if you was in the South and still is right now. Yeah, I'm, huh? I bet you won't ever disrespect that flag again. You better not. Because the people that's learning tonight going to pop you upside your head if you try to do anything disrespectful to a flag that our ancestors died for. And I'm talking about tribe after tribe after tribe had this flag before it was considered the, feder- the Confederate flag. Confederations. This whole landmass was a confederation prior to these foreigners coming over here. I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to do it right now. Thank you. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you. Hold on. I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to do it right now. Watch this. 1828 Webster's English Language Dictionary. Can y'all see this? Confederation. The act of confederating a league, a compact for mutual support, alliance, particularly of principles, nations, or states. The three principles enter into a strict league and confederation. Read number two. Number two, the United States of America are sometimes called the confederation. This is before 1861. And when I told you that it wasn't called the United States, it was the Union States. Here, I'm going to give you that one, too. Oh, we going. Oh, we. We going in tonight. Hold on. Let me give you this. Let me give you the U.S. Embassy real quick. <laughs> I, I, want, I want y'all to see this real quick. Real quick. Real quick. Stick with me. Stick with me. This is what we're going to do. I want you to look at the bottom of that now. Official website, USA, I mean, U.S. Embassy in the United Kingdom, in the United Kingdom, in the United Kingdom. Dot org. I'm coming up. I'm coming up. What'd that say right there? They know, but you don't. You got to use a VPN and change your your IP address and say that you in somewhere else in order to look stuff up. They hiding it from you. You can't get it on Google. Your IP address is... Huh? In the United Kingdom, they know what's going on, but you don't. What they got to hide for? You look up um, United, I mean, correction, you look up Union States of America. They're going to show you pictures that say United States of America. Until you flip your VPN, you use a VPN, flip your IP. Check and see whatever people were saying about you. Yeah. That says .org. It's a government. This is a government website. Let's go back. Okay. Did you know 
that the president of the Confederate States of America by the name Jefferson Davis uh -oh. was not only previously a part of the House of Representatives in Congress, a colonel in command during the Mexican-American War, mm. and even the Secretary of War under then-President Franklin Pierce in 1853, but he was also a member of the pro-slavery party called the Democrats. Ooh, hold on! Let's, hold on. Let's hold hands on this one. We gotta walk slow coming across that street. Hold on. He was a member of the pro-slavery party called the Democrat. Pro-slavery, Democrats, in the army, again, high-ranking officers, were Negroes? Pro-slavery, Democrats, high-ranking Negroes. They lying about something. Notice how they saying that he was pro-slavery. Was this really about slavery again? Was it really about slavery? Look at his history. He was a part of the House of Representatives. I mean, I'm talking about previously now. He was a part of the House of Representative Representatives, a colonel in command during the Mexican-American War, the Secretary of War <coughs> under President Franklin Pierce in 1853, 10 years prior. Then all of a sudden now, it's a problem. I got to separate from the union. I'm a lead it. I'm a Democrat. We got to keep slavery. Again, was it really about slavery? Something not adding up. Hell, <laughs> yeah, it's about slavery, but let's send the slaves to go fight. Nah, nah, we got their children. We'll just wait 10 to 15 years when they become a teenager and we gonna make them work. In the meantime, we gonna suffer between them 10 to 15 years until we can get some more workers out in that field. But we gotta put their, we gotta put their father, we gotta put their baby fathers, we gotta put their baby fathers in this war. Something not right. Now, at this time, the Democrats were pro-slavery. And since we were told that the Union won the Civil War and that President Abraham Lincoln restored order to the Union, why would an anti-slavery Republican president have a vice president named Andrew Johnson, who was a pro-slavery Democrat. Woo! Woo! There go that Mason, there go that Mason. But listen, again, keep in mind, he was illiterate. He couldn't read and write. Abraham Lincoln picked this nigga. Wait a minute. And he was a Democrat? Hold on, wait, whoa, 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 Dane, what are you saying? I just told you what I said. Abraham Lincoln was a Republican, allegedly anti-slavery, right? But his vice president is pro-slavery Democrat? But this civil war was about slavery, huh? But yet you had two heads of the same snake in office. I'm a little sink in. I'm a little sink in. I said Abraham Lincoln 
made Andrew Johnson a part of his cabinet, a part of his administration. I'm talking about the next in line made him vice president. Yes, and he was illiterate. That is documented. You don't believe me, you can look that up. He could not read or write at all. At all. And Abraham Lincoln gave him vice president? Somebody said Abraham Lincoln was a slave owner. Let's think about this now. What is a slave owner? Let's think about this. If McDonald's got employees working for them, how many slaves do they own? Target. Target got employees working for them. How many slaves do they own? Wait, man. What about Walmart? Walmart got slaves working for them. How many slaves do they own? That's slavery. This is the re and this exposes it. This Civil War stuff exposes it big time. Why would you take away slaves from the North and the South when you're in business? Think about it. Yes, this was a capitalist society. And the only way a capitalist society can stay afloat is if businesses are present. A business can only stay afloat. I'm going to use that term again, or phrase, as if they have employees working for them, slaving for them, laboring for them, being servants. It's the same thing. That's not something I want you to believe. That's something I want you to know. But they ain't get paid nothing. They got paid little to nothing. Indenture service is the same thing. What's an indenture? Tell them, chat. What's an indenture, y'all? What's an indenture? You go to a job. In order for you to try to get that job, you fill out a what? What's an indenture? Uh, thank you. Look at, the, look at the chat. Look, y'all. An indenture is a contract. You're going into business with that business. You're trying to be hired as an employee. This is happening right now. You pl you're applying application. You're applying to become a what? And then you're contracted. You're obligated to do what? Work for someone. That's a servant. That's a slave. That's an employee. That's not knocking nobody. That's the truth. And you know what we're going to say, right? Yeah, a worker. You know what we're going to say, right? Well, we got to pay our bills. Okay. And what you think they had to do back then? When things cost, how did the slaves pay for it? Are oh, you going to believe the stories they told you? Oh, they going to feed the slaves under the table and, and treat them like dogs? After they working their tails off from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. out there in them fields? where they could leave at any time if they are being mistreated because it ain't no change in shackles on them. It ain't nothing but open field. Oh, you going to believe that. Oh, they going to give them leftovers. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Nah, nah, nah. Don't keep them fed. Don't keep them fed. Don't keep them healthy. Nah, we, we, need, some, we need some slaves that's going to be out there sneezing and coughing on our, in the fields, huh? They, they, I don't care if they sick. Make them work. And that ain't going to get passed down to them, them germs and everything. That, that's not. Uh-oh. You're going to believe that, huh? That's up to you. 
Again, you got to use your imagination. There's no verification of you saying that that is actually the truth. There's no verification of that. There's no often. OK, you cannot accurately prove that that actually happened. Still to this day. Like what people were saying. Oh, wait, I mean, those, those white slave masters were our our word. I got to censor this. Our wording are women. Huh? <laughs> huh? Oh, that that and that that's how we got mixed babies. That happened with everybody, huh? The man was overpowering the woman. Like that woman ain't gonna come back and tell that man that's in them fields. And what that um, that man gonna be too scared? That field Negro gonna be too scared to put that knife up against that homeboy's neck if that actually happened? I'm talking about in a large mass. Let, 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 we could say that it happened, but you saying that it happened in a large mass and everybody had their tail stuck in between their legs and they ain't do nothing? Right now, men, right now, men, talk to me, men. If a le- if a somebody that you know, right now, good friends with, right now, talk to me, walk up to you, and tell you some stranger, there's something to her that he wasn't supposed to be doing. What you gonna do? You gonna sit there? <laughs> I don't worry, buddy. Get over it. I mean, it's not going. That's what you gonna do? Well, wait. I mean, we gotta call the police. That that's what you're gonna do. I know better than that, and I know you do too. Where the men at? Not the little boys. The men. Where you at? What you going to do? One of our Niji women walk up and say that's what happened to them. What you going to do? And you mean to tell me that we wasn't doing that back then? Ain't going to be no if, ass, or bust about it. We pulling up. I'm talking about, it's over. <clears throat> it's over. You're done. Yeah, 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 you right. Nathan! But they, again, they were force feeding us all these stories to make it seem as if we were less than. And our people follow for it. As if we were to curse people and hold time. We are the chosen. Let's get back to this. So a Republican president that's allegedly anti-slavery made sure that he got his vice president pro-slavery to do what? What, what, what? Who he trying to make feel better? Uh Uh-oh. But you know what? I'm going to put a Democrat in here and hopefully, hopefully what? You put out an EO, your little proclamation, right? Slavery was allegedly abolished, according to your proclamation, your EO. Okay. And you turn right around and make sure that you had a Democrat right behind you. Something ain't right. Did the Union win the Civil War or did the Confederate States compromise and unite with the opposing states to incorporate all agendas of those sitting on both sides of the table? That's it. That's what That's what happened. Fatality. Did the Union win the Civil War or did the Confederate States and the Union compromise and unite with the opposing states to incorporate all agendas of those sitting on both sides of the table? They did. Because right after the Civil War, what happened? It was business as usual, right? The United States, they became united.
It was a compromise. <laughs> Slavery was still happening. And what I mean by that is, is employment. You know for a fact that the union is not going to bite the hand that feed them. They are not about to stop employment, slavery, to appease who? What, what is that going to do for them? They got businesses to run. So, oh, wait, but um, we got to stop this, y'all. It's, it's just not working out. We can't keep these, we can't keep working these people. We we got to stop. We got to, and you mean to tell me that these foreigners or whoever these business owners are going to step up and start doing the business for themselves? When has that ever happened? <laughs> I mean, huh? I mean, even I got a team. When, when does that happen? When, when, when you go into business for yourself, right? That's fine. That's all well and dandy. But when that business become, when that business become bigger, larger, maybe even medium size, shit, it could be small depending on what it is. You going to continue to do everything on your own? Or you going to outsource some assistance? This is happening. That's right. It's happening right now. Didn't It didn't change. It did not change. It won't ever change until we do something about it. But that's that's the curse part right there that I need my brothers and sisters to understand. Brothers and sisters of the faith, I need y'all to understand that's the curse part right there. Allowing foreigners to dictate who you are, what happened with you, and how your life should move, and how you should go about life in general, and take that all the way to your grave. And pass it down from generation to generation. We got to stop this. And every single year or every single time some voting season come, we got to vote this person, vote that person. And not one time have we seen any bit of change for ourselves. Then we made it worse by disassociating ourselves with our indigenous culture. And giving it to something unforeseen, the term black. You caught all the lights out, you can't see nothing. Something unforeseen, black, non-existent. It's not there. It's not there. But yet we're trying to make pretend like there's an illusion. Basically, it's an illusion. But we're trying to make pretend like as if something is there. That's an illusion. Oh, there's black excellence. It's black power. No, it's not. No, it's not. You still allowing foreigners to dictate. When you should be dictating yourself, governing yourself. Right now. I was just telling my brothers and sisters inside of the 13% community server, those of you that know that the Bible has life lessons. As an example, this is not a knock. Listen to me. That those of you that have the Bible, as an example, the Quran, all of that, right? And it has life lessons that's supposed to be decoded so you could take that and run with it for the rest of your life. Why do you need somebody to tell you that? What I mean by that is the preacher and the pastor is there. Teaching you the Bible? Again, I'm going to say this again. You don't need a guide to decode that book for you. When you already know how to read. You don't need someone in the physical to guide you. To decode that Bible for you when you already know how to read. You don't got to take their word for it. You decoded the way you wanted to be decoded. Especially if it's going to work out in your benefit. Because look, guaranteed is working out for them pastors and preach, preachers benefit, right? They passing an offering plate around. Make it make sense. You could knock out the middleman and go straight to the source. Because you are the source. When I say you're the chosen one, what that mean? I'm going to leave it alone, but I hope you heard me. 
Yes, it's a part of critical thinking. You have it right there waiting for you. It's just waiting to be developed again. Just like any skill or art, to go back to what I was saying earlier. We are the masters of the arts. And they know it. Which I want to do. Y'all want to come up on the panel? Just mind you, I'm going to be going a lot deeper than this. And I said that during that podcast portion. I'm going to be going a lot deeper than this in February. Okay? You're going to see more. Way more. But I don't know if I'm going to do it in a live stream or not. I think that'll probably be a VOD. Probably be VODs throughout that, you know, so-called Black History Month. But which I want to do. Y'all want to come up on the panel? I'm going to give y'all a second to think about it. In the meantime, I... I, keep in mind, y'all, I did see a lot of notifications going off, but I don't want y'all to think I'm ignoring you, okay? I'm about to give you some shout-outs right now, but I don't want you to think I'm ignoring you. When I'm in that zone and the ancestors got my mind, I'm, I'm not even reading chat. My glasses is coming off and everything. I'm not playing. This, this is what happens. I'm being guided by the great spirit and my ancestors. Oh, just in case some of you thought that I was atheist or whatever. Uh Uh-uh. There is a greater spirit. I am I am. Mm, I'm going to leave it alone. I'm (laughs) going to drop a bomb. All right, so let me me go back to where we were, where I missed a lot of the... Hold on. Oh, my God. Y'all went crazy. Um, what? Oh my God, y'all went crazy. Um, oh my God. Okay. I'm about to, listen, y'all. I appreciate all this love. This is major. I didn't even, I didn't, I didn't, this is, oh my God. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. Let me let me figure out where I'm gonna start. Cause I, I think I did. Okay, I remember this one. And then Gregory donated another six. Yo. Another 60 euros. Gregory, I appreciate that. Tommy Love, thank you for your donation. Y'all. God. Oh my God. Wait. John Nell donated, I mean, uh, gifted another five memberships. Turtle Island R gifted another five memberships. Thank you, y'all. And oh my goodness. Gifted C. Johnson gifted another 20 memberships. Terrence, thank you for your donation, brother. I appreciate that. Y'all... Hill Wisdom gifted five memberships. I appreciate that. Reese Cup, thank you for your donation. You said love you. I love you too. I appreciate that. Mario, thank you for your donation. I appreciate that, Mario. Bobby, thank you for becoming a member. Keith, thank you for becoming a member. Sharon, welcome aboard. Thank you for becoming a member. And... Shilohai, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Shilohai, Shilohai, I like the way that look. I I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. Thank you for becoming a member. And, uh, oh, Jamal, (laughs) Jamal, thank you for the donation, brother. I appreciate that, y'all. Bobby, wait, so Bobby became a member and he donated. I appreciate that, Bobby. I see it. Thank you, Bobby. Uh, uh, Net Love, thank you for becoming a member. Hold up, it's loading in on my side. I had to refresh it to make sure. Okay. Net Love, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, Delicia, thank you for becoming a member. 
And God, what is he doing? Gifted C. Johnson gifted a whole nother 20 members? Brother, what, what, where is he? Where is he in the chat? Brother, what, yo, this like, what? <laughs> like, what? I appreciate that, brother. Thank you. God, that, that's, that's a lot. <laughs> that is a lot. Oh, um, Ronald Jackson, thank you for the five gifted. I appreciate that, brother. Y'all, y'all showing love big time. Chris Graham, thank you for becoming a member. Michael Coleman, that sounds super familiar. I wonder if that's the OG. Thank you for becoming a member as well. Uh, Miss Rhonda, thank you for your donation. And Sue Flea, Sue Flea, yeah, I said it right. Thank you for becoming a member. Erica, thank you for becoming a member. Chris. Thank you for becoming a member. Above the Beauty. <laughs> thank you for becoming a member. Jamar Joyden, thank you for becoming a member. Elephant TV, thank you for becoming a member. And D Shep, thank you for becoming a member as well. I'm dropping a bar for all of y'all. Derek Postel, thank you for becoming a member. Young Mo donated again. I appreciate that, Young Mo. Thank you, brother. And Dooms, thank you for you. Oh, you donated. Thank you. I appreciate that, Dooms. Thank you. And Poe, thank you for your donation as well. Amy, thank you for becoming a member. Alicia, thank you for becoming a member. Bamboo gifted a membership. I appreciate that, Bamboo. Smoky Eyes became a member. I appreciate that. Meditation Station, I like that. Meditation Station, thank you for becoming a member. Joseph Robinson, thank you for becoming a member, Joseph. I appreciate that, Joe. Jason Gray Sr., thank you for becoming a member. Now, I heard my phone ringing off, and I know it was a lot of people that did the um, Cash App, and I appreciate the Cash Apps as well. Uh, those of you that did the Patreon, I'm not able to see that, but I do send love when I'm able to see that. Um... Give me a second. Let me, um, whoo, I appreciate this. Brother Jamil Benton, set it on fire. DMV, are you for the DMV? Set it on fire. fire. Big Dono, I appreciate that, brother. Thank you for showing love um, on the Cash App. And um, it says, hold on, what this say? Oh, Vanessa said, Oh, respect. I appreciate that, Sister Vanessa. I like the, the fact that y'all leave messages that I could read them. If you if y'all get a chance where y'all donate, leave a message. I'm definitely reading them. And um, Jamario, thank you for the dono. I appreciate that. Thank you, brother. Jay Scott, thank you for the donation, brother, as well. Um, Marcus Griffin says, and that's a big dono. Copper Colored Lifestyle YouTube is on. Absolutely. I appreciate that, Brother Marcus. And you doubled up. Matter of fact, thank you, Brother Marcus. I appreciate that. I see that right now. Shamar Johnson, you said, uh, better not lit up in this live. <laughs> I'm not. I'll keep it my foot on that neck, sis. I appreciate that, y'all. So y'all must have did that earlier. Again, I apologize if I missed it, you know, at the time when y'all were doing that. But of course, I was going through the segment. Um, and I didn't even get a chance to see what y'all said. Y'all, we opening up the panel. Y'all going to be straight? Keep in mind, you got to be in the 13% community server. If you brand new, hit me out. If you're brand new to the community server, the 13% community server, please Add a picture of yourself, not a mean picture, not a picture of your cat, your dog, your car, none of that. I need to see exactly who you are so I can welcome you on a panel, okay? I'm getting ready to pull that thing up right now. You have, okay. Hold on, I'm getting ready to pull it up right now. Uh, 
All right. Here we go. As that's pulling up. Vanessa, thank you for the donation again, sister. You said it's go time. I'm Ether Creek on YouTube. Thank you, Vanessa. I appreciate that. Oh, I'm getting set up on my side, y'all, real quick. I'm getting set up real quick. So I can get everything going. Hold up. Now, I right, so let's let the topic, let's talk about this. Um let's talk about that silver war and the Confederate flag. All right, so I have okay, hold up. I got it up. I hope y'all can hear me. 13%. Can y'all? Oh, wait. No, hold up. Okay. Can y'all hear me now? Y'all can hear me in there? The 13% chat. OCO, OCO. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, we good? All right, cool. All right. Let's get it. So we're going to go, we going to go uh, male, female, male, female, or should we go female, male, female, male? Damn, I hate doing that. Wait a minute. Let me think. Let, let's go female first. Let, let's go female first. Ladies first. Hold up. Let me let me set it up. All right. Now, don't forget, when I accept you up on a panel, don't forget, when I accept you up on a panel, you got to accept it on your side, too. You got to accept it on your side, too. Please turn. If you got your... <laughs> I got to give all these. If you have your uh, cell phone turned up, that's cool. But if you got me on your television or inside of the car, turn it down so it won't be a lot of feedback. Keep in mind, if you got some $10, $20 headphones, just put them on speakerphone so I can hear you clearly, please. <laughs> hold up, hold up. I'm messing with y'all at the same time. <laughs> Wait, man, I'm trying to... I see the brothers popping in. I'm trying to get some ladies up in here first. We're going to do ladies first. We're going to do ladies first. So we're talking about this topic. Uh, let's let's talk about this Civil War and the um, Confederate flag. Like, I would love to see if I could get, um, huh? What is this saying? What is that? Okay, there you go. It popped up. All right. Carlos, thank you for the donation, brother. I appreciate that. Let me double check to make sure you said anything you said. No, you didn't leave a message. You didn't leave a message. All right. Okay, there we go. Hold on. Here goes sister now. Hold up. Why is it doing? One second. One second. It's doing something funny on my side. Okay, here we go. All right. Here we go. You got to accept it on your side, sister. And you should be good to go. Uh oh, -uh. okay. There we go. Can you hear me? Oh, you gotta unmute yourself. I if you on your cell phone, you gotta give it permission. There you go. All right. How you doing tonight? I'm doing wonderful, sister. How are you? Okay, I can't really hear you. Uh, you can't hear me. I turn my volume up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I I I can't hear you. You can hear me. I can hear you clear. I can oh, hear you clip. Okay. Yeah, I can't hear you. Are you on your cell yeah. phone? I was cold. Uh, basically, what I wanted to say, uh, uh -oh. you're always providing us with uh, powerful, strong information. I definitely appreciate that. Uh, you being, you know, a spokesperson, you know, for us. And basically, you know, just enlightening us on some things that... Uh, uh, we might not have been privileged to. Um, and for that, 
I definitely wanted to say uh, I'm, pre- I'm appreciative. Uh, but I did also want to say that, first of all, I'm a Virginia Cherokee. And uh, um, I had reached out to you one time before in reference to uh, the pow monkeys in okay. this area where I live, trying to get their conceit on up and running. Uh, they had kind of shot it down, uh, but now it's back up in effect. Uh, that's Wait, that you... kind of sick me to my stomach because I, I, I took a look at the tribe because they had posted some things online and they are uh, totally whitewashed. Oh, well, totally. but sis- I mean, wait a minute, sister, can who looked at anything like us, sister? Wait, can you can you hear me at all? You can't hear me at all. Say that Sister, again, please. You can't hear me at all. I can hear you now. You, so you can hear me clearly right now. I can hear you now. Okay. Yeah, and you were saying that you wanted me to grab information about yes. a a particular tribe and about their casino. Like, what what do you mean by that, though? Like, break down what you're referring to. Okay. Uh, I was uh, basically referring to, uh, I live in Virginia, and the area I'm referring to is what they call Hampton Roads. I'm familiar with Hampton. That would encompass Norfolk, Virginia Beach, uh, Chesapeake, Portsmouth. Okay, so the Pow Monkeys, they're a Native American drive. Yeah, you... Can you hear me? I can. Yeah, I, I'm listening, sis. Okay. So, okay, I can hear you now. It might be. A, I think it's a slight is. delay. But yeah, I, it's yeah, a slight I, delay. I, but that tribe, uh, tribe, you right. So the tribe, uh, right now, they were shot down for, they were trying to get a casino up and running. And that was probably like two, three years ago. And for whatever reason, they were shot down with that. Uh, now they have released uh, new information. Uh, and it was on the news that the Paw Monkeys are now back trying to get the casino up and running. And it looks like it's going to be a go. They haven't approved everything yet. But I was saying that sickens me to my stomach because... I took a look at the tribe and all I saw was a bunch of whitewashed folk. None of them looked like us, period. Yeah. And and to be to be honest with you, that's kind of common. A lot of those tribes are have been infiltrated. A lot of the tribes have been infiltrated uh, by a lot of foreigners. And, you know, they're trying to receive some some form of income by exactly. trying to throw up casinos, but um, but you're saying that you were requesting more information about that, or what? What was what was the question on that note? Sister, can you hear me? My okay uh, uh, feelings, because I don't know whether I have a question. I'm just wondering uh, what can be done <laughs> to. Uh, just, I mean, it, it, it seems like there should be something that can be done just to uh, at least stop them from what they're doing. Because like I said, you know, I don't know. It's, it, and I was just wondering if there is something, uh, some claim or something, else, just something that can be done. Because like I said, they're, they're, they're not rightful owners to the land at all. Yeah, I agree with you on that note, sister. But see, this is the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing, because if I bring awareness to the situation and more of us uh, take a look into their families, then they will have the right to lay claim to a lot. Like, for example, uh, that particular Virginia uh, tribe, for example, and then say, hey, this is not how it's supposed to be ran. They could probably do something about it. But don't forget that not only were the tribes infiltrated by particular people that end up ended up becoming members, they also have a board where they have representatives, like lawyers and stuff like that. Like they, 
you know, uh, set up their own little tribal government that's being ran by the federal government. Right. Um, so that's what we're up against. We're still up against the federal government when it comes to that note. Um, those people that are representing that particular tribe are representing themselves, not necessarily the members. Because the members of the tribe, for example, just for them being card carrying, doesn't get a cut of what they make, for example, uh, as far as the profit is concerned off of that casino. That's strictly going to the high ranking members. Like we would say blue collar, white collar. It would only it would strictly be for them, not necessarily the people of that tribe. But in order for us to do something about it, we have to start with bringing awareness first. Make people aware once they do, you know, conduct their genealogy on their family members and it traces back to that particular tribe. There's a strong possibility that we could do something about it, but we will have to know for sure and, and start pointing fingers and say, hey, this is not how it was. This is how it should be. Exactly, exactly. And, you know, that was something that I was uh, actually wanting to know. What do you think would probably be a good start? Genealogy. Genealogy. You have to do genealogy on your family to know exactly who you are. That's the first. I always recommend right. everybody to start now on their I genealogy. Say it again. It's a it's a huge delay. I said I've done that, the genealogy, and I do know Cherokee is. See, I I believe she's listening to me either on her television or her. Uh, she's not listening to me on her cell phone. But sister, if it's Cherokee that you traced your family back to, keep in mind you may have more than one tribe within that bloodline anyway. But if it's Cherokee and that's what you want to stick with. They have been infiltrated as well. But as far as doing something about it, what type of paperwork did you have that you could bring to the, do you want to be, hold on, first of all, let me ask you this. Do you want to be a member of that tribe? That's number one. If not, let me know. Then I, I can tell you which route to go. Uh, wait, she went, went in, she went in and out, and now you're here right now, right? You can hear right, me? Sounds great. It's a huge delay. It's a huge delay. She did she didn't hear me firsthand. Yeah. I, it sounds like she's listening to me on a different device, not necessarily this one. Right. But yeah, you're correct. But that's all right. <laughs> yeah. See See how it's delayed? I don't know what's going on with my device. I don't. But I, I did understand what you just said. So that sounds great, and that's something that I will do. So, but I, I want to expand on it, but we're having a, it's a huge delay. It's a huge delay right now. Um, because I would want, you know, more information on how you would want to go about it. Like, would you want to be a part of that tribe or would you want to do something being affiliated, you know, as far as your family members, but outside of that tribe? Yeah. She listening to it on YouTube. No, because I don't have any affiliations to. Well, I do, but I don't. I mean, I'm Cherokee. They're Paul monkeys. They're the Paul monkey. I guess I'm pronouncing it right. P a m u n k y. monkey. Yeah. Yes. But okay. So wait. Okay. 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 You want to do something about that particular tribe and what they're doing as far as trying to get a uh, casino. For them, you want to try to stop that? That's what this, that's what... Exactly. Yeah. Okay. To be honest with you, right now, you're not going to be able to do anything if you're not related to that, you know, to that particular family. Um, mm -hmm. Or, or, or if we all band together, okay, being of particular families, not necessarily tribes, just particular families band together to combat a lot of that stuff, that would be a bigger move versus it right. just being one person saying something, the next person saying something. If we all move at one time, that could be something. But again, again, it won't be on the nation. It will be on the government that we're going to. So, again, okay. if they're only for foreigners. That sounds like something I definitely would want to do. The latter of what you just said. 
Right. It, and I, I, to be honest with you, the only way that could get done is if we bring awareness to more people. As far as like they do their genealogy on their family, we all band together to get some things done. But preventing them from the, it, I'm not going to lie, trying to stop them from trying to, you know, build a casino for whatever reason, that's not going to work out necessarily right now, realistically, to a point where we say, okay, we could stop them in their tracks right now. Realistically, what we're doing right now, if we're trying to combat them, that's going to take some time because we're going to need more people to not only understand who they are, but know who they are. Then we could come, you know, we could come together and get some things done, whatever we come up with. That that plan doesn't necessarily have to be out in the open, but that could be one of the, you know, part of it. That could be part of the plan. But yeah, I mean, trying to stop them from that casino right now, it, I, I, could, I don't see that happening. It's inevitable. For right now. Oh. That doesn't mean it's going to be permanent. Okay. You see okay. what I'm saying? Right, right. Um, okay. Well, I, that was just something that, like I said, that really was disturbing for me. But uh, I know it's something that I was already, uh, uh, someone already told me that, well, it's not going to be a whole lot you can do because that's basically how the government has it set up so that those people have already been able to come in and infiltrate and do what they're doing. So, you know, I, I was just wondering, was there just something more that could be done? Yeah, they were infiltrated. Some of them were infiltrated in the 1700s and some of them were infiltrated right. in the 1800s. Right. So we got a lot more work to do. Like when it comes to that note, like we have to actually dig back and find out what happened, what went wrong on each right. particular tribe. Because that, I mean, see, that makes it even more difficult. But the, it's, I'm not trying to say it's impossible. It's possible, but that's time consuming. But that oh, could right. be a part of the plan. That can be. Because, yeah, it, it's a lot of our tribes have been infiltrated, mm -hmm. especially if they're being considered recognized by this government. Exactly. OK. All right. Well, love what you're doing. And uh, uh, like I said, I'm there with you. Most definitely. Uh, and uh, uh, I need you all the way because that's what I am. I've always known I was, so, you know, need you. So, I mean, I, I'm just here for the fight. Yes, ma'am. I mean, now that you're part of the 13%, um, we don't have to state anything out in the open, but now that you're a part of the 13%, there's a lot more that we could do in here and a lot more ways than just us having this conversation right here about the plan or some things we could touch. If you stay here, this thing's going to get done. <laughs> so stick around is what I'm trying to tell you. There are more ways All than right. one. Most definitely. Most definitely. I'm here for it. I appreciate that, sister. All right. What else? Have a good evening. You too. That there, there was a slight delay in that one, and she was hearing me in the um. It sounded like she was listening to me on 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 television, at the same time. So there was a slight delay. Delay. I apologize to the people that was. I know that was kind of confusing for y'all, but I heard it. I heard it in her background. Um, and those are the thirty percent. I'm sure y'all heard that too. I right, hold on, wait a minute. Let me um, let me see if I could grab a brother real quick. Don't forget that you gotta have a. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm glad everybody got pictures. Perfect, perfect. All right, here we go. You gotta accept it on your side, brother. Come on up. You got you to gotta accept it on your side. You should have it. You should have it. Don't forget, if y'all coming up in here, please join the 13% community server uh, by utilizing a uh, link that the moderators will post or you'll see Nightbot posted too. Um, just please be sure to upload a picture of you. Not of your dog, not of your children, not of your vehicle, not of your house. And I'm sure all of that is beautiful, but it got to be you. All right, brother, I'm waiting on you. I got to move on to the... Okay, now he he left. Hold on one second. He could be having trouble with his... Uh, with his computer. Let me try one more. Let me try a different brother real quick. 
while he try to work those kinks out. All right, brother, come on up. You got it. You should. You got to accept. There you go. See, real quick, too. That was perfect. What's going on, brother? You can you hear me? It was on accident. No, come up. Just come up again. I'll do it again. I see. I'm looking at the chat at the same time. If it was an accident, just come on up. Hey, Dan, can you hear me? I can hear you clearly, brother. How are you? Man, what is going on, man? I, I could drop a bomb. I could drop a bomb on just so far the topics of everything that was being said today. Just, I mean, people fighting on the Civil War and the foreigners coming over here and all that going on, man. I, Man, I, I enjoy what you have the work that in the work that you put in to put the information together to bring to us and i appreciate it. it got me to want to find out what's going on for myself it just made me a stronger person a soldier a warrior a heart an indian warrior within man it, it had changed me so much to the point i don't fear to lose nothing Mm. Dead, what bills? What is bills? When you get to the point where you're indigenous to this country, you're, you're an indigenous Aboriginal American Indian, all that stuff is tossed to the side because it's Indian is not taxed to the point where you're the owner, you're the landlord, you're the builder, you're mm -hmm. the inventor. All those inventions came from us. Yep. All of it the castles, the tall buildings. Those this is the reason why they created about. the patent office the very next year they created the exactly. census. They wanted to patent the ideas. That's right. Exact, exactly. Craig, seen this man, make a butt. Man, let me tell you something, man. We we didn't have to worry about nothing. Till those Not at all. Nothing. Man. We had it all. I mean, the fruits, the bets, the, the tobacco, everything, the, the, the fruits, the, he's the farming, everything. We had everything. They were well off than we are now. We got to get back to that. I agree. Now they're trying to bring all these foreign, these immigrants over here. That just so because there's too much of us to deal with because we're waking up. I see a lot of people waking up, man. It seemed like so many people just continue to keep waking up. And I'm just getting happy by myself because the fact that I ain't watched television in a year and a half. I don't play video games. Not that ain't nothing wrong with that, but it's like I got to the point where I'm so focused on this truth. Mm -hmm. It just turned me into a different person. And it's like, I don't, I'm not, let me tell you something. I'm not knocking no one about religion, but it divides, it's so much division with it. Mm -hmm. But it's like, as long as we are together to fight this, the enemies, it's like when you bring religion, it's like you're, you're invisible to who your enemy is. And it's right. Like you're, they make you blind. It's like, it makes you colorblind of who the enemy is because your enemy could be someone in your family. And I got that going on too with the Masons and Divine Nine. You got to be careful. You know, mm. That's why I have an avatar that says move in silence. We have plans, but we got to be careful. Yes. Because you might have the ideas that you guys have. All I'm just, I'm not speaking, I'm speaking on everyone. No. Family. Yeah, we no, no, that's careful. very real. We got to be careful because I've been on all time, you know, I'd be going on uh, a lot of Aboriginal channels, but it's like, I'm starting to slowly see certain people starting to see them for who they really are. Mm. And I had to back out. Careful. Like, don't say no names. Look, 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 now, I'm not going to say, I'm not okay. gonna say names or nothing. <laughs> I'm very careful. Okay. Man, I'm too careful, man. <laughs> and Trust like, me. I was watching them too. Like, and okay. I was like, and I was like, wait a minute. And they was doing, saying certain things just to get views. And it's like, you can't be doing it on a feminist movement turning point. Mm. You don't need we don't need a Patrick Samuels a male female. We don't need that. We we need to bring as much together and resources because for some reason these ideas I keep getting keep coming in my head to not only create ideas but to invent things. All of a sudden just slowly keep rising in my head. I get so many ideas. I sleep, I wake up with new ideas every day. Write it down. Yeah. Write it down and because I, the majority of those ideas that you write down can be manifested. As long as you exactly. continuously look at what you wrote down and repeat mm -hmm. at least about five or six times a day for 15 minutes the straight fact, or more than that, actually, for 15 minutes straight. That, the fact that um, I was looking at my family tree. Okay. 
And uh, I found out that, uh, my, you know, I know my great, great, grand, great, great, great grandfather was on the, he was on the north side. Okay. Fighting. So it's like, there's so much stuff going on in there. And I said, when I look in that family tree, it's like, there's so many stories. Yeah. It's like, there's a story about something that happened. It's like, it, you get to finding out who the villains really are. And it's like, dang. This whole time so we were lied to. You gotta, right. That's why you got to really, that's why people have to really move carefully because somebody could be benefiting on other people's misery. Mm. I'm to dropping the a bomb. Point, to the point where if you do say something, you might end up in jail or get set up and mm. not realize that it was someone close to you. That's why we got to really be thinking and really be smart about what we do. I love everybody on this panel. I don't care what you believe in because I used to be in that belief too. But at the same time, I grew. I started researching. I started thinking. Then I went beyond and it just never stopped. I went in that rabbit hole and I kept digging more true like it was buried treasure. Mm. And it just once you find you find once you find that buried treasure, that's your inheritance. Your your family tree is your inheritance. That's your everlasting wealth. Mm. That mm. shall never be cut off. Mm. I'm dropping the bomb again. You guys have the ability. They, they've been doing research on our on our bodies for 150 years. They've been doing research on us. The electricity, the melanin in our skin. Uh -oh. just, Talk to, talk to talk to brother. The go ahead. Is go electricity. Ahead. It's electricity. You go got ahead. you are walking, you know, saying you're like a uh you cure cancers within yourself. They use your blood, your DNA. You got old ancient blood. We the oldest people in the generation. We the oldest. And this is the oldest continent right here. Mm. The oldest bones was was mm. digged up right here. Mm. All the buildings, all the pyramids, all of it, even secret grounds with cities inside them. In these cities, still, there's buildings that still remain there today. Set it on fire. 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 The, the structure is just, is it's almost, it's like never ever seen before. Mm. I just said, I just want to touch those ancient those, those ancient relics just touch them and be made whole mm. almost like you, when you touch them just touch something that's ancient because it's from you and all it's it's like i just want to get it like that's why i'm digging deep in my uh family tree because you might have something like an old something that you want to hold on to that might air loan you. oh yes Woo! yes talk yes. go ahead go ahead i ain't, i'm trying i'm you trying to you know, so go ahead you got the, you know, the ability, you know, and sometimes, man, I don't care. Listen, you could be the only one fighting this battle, y'all. You could be the last ones. Heck, everybody in your family could be Agent Smith, and you be the only one. Think about it, y'all. Mm. You don't know how many people are fighting this battle on their own. It might be nobody supporting them, and we the only support they got. Mm. You know how big that is? To wake up one minute to know that everyone you thought was, is it? And then you're the only one that can see the truth. You're the only one that can walk the path that nobody else can walk. Mm. You're doing something that's never been done in your history, in your own time. You are finally finding the truth for yourself. Oh. And, the fact of the, and the fact of the matter is, you may not, people may hate you for what you've done. But your ancestors love you. And the fact that you are walking toward that path of truth, it almost makes me feel so good about what I'm doing. I don't fear nothing. I can go straight up to the police because I know my constitutional rights. Everybody should be suing the United States government, not just Farrakhan. We all should be throwing them lawsuits. Mm. You should be giving out those eviction notices, Dane. Remember? Uh huh. Man, uh -huh. I, I remember. I remember what you said about that fishing notice is going uh -huh. to come out. Oh my it's, gosh! It's going that to happen. That was one of your greatest speeches that Ooh. I've ever heard. That speech made me cry, bro. Man, 
It's, I was man when I was going through, I was going through a lot that year, and your your speech you was talking about man we should be doing Christmas and all these holidays because we weren't doing all that mm-hmm. when they came over here. That's they right. came over here with Bibles, but they exchanged it with that with swords. They were using our people to infiltrate our people to just say put a face on it just 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 to try to trick us yep. into thinking that this was right when it wasn't to the point where they was getting paid. Yep. To sell us out. It's still happening. All these, and it's, oh my God, man. Mm. It, 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 it hurts, man. It, and you know what, man? It, it hurts, man, when you find out. It does. Who was on, who, who was on our side and who wasn't, man. Yeah. It's just, like, and it's like, you always move forward, and it's like, I'm always getting kicked back all the time. And then when I find out why, it's, man, you find out that people was in this and that, it's like, man, you ain't got nobody to go to. Who could you turn to? But it's like, that I was done by design. And my ancestors. That's right. Yeah. Now, See, that's now what they that want you to forget about. That's right. Go ahead. Go yeah. ahead. And it's like, I know there's some folks that want to get on here and say something, but you no, know, brother, go ahead. And, go ahead. And it's like, I, 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 I just, listen. You guys just don't know, man. I've been going through a lot, man. It's like, but at the same time, I'm really not going through nothing. Mm. Just, mm. I'm becoming stronger. I'm getting strong. You know that being comfortable was really the enemy of myself because sometimes I don't like being comfortable. Woo! I like it. This is training. Woo! You don't realize how strong I'm getting stronger. I'm not scared. I don't give a damn about a house. Fuck a house. Fuck that shit. Fuck all that shit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to cuss. No, I'm sorry about that. Get man. it out. That goddamn house. The hell with it. It don't even. It, first of all, the land is yours. Everywhere you step on is yours. You lay claiming this is your. Ancestors land. You can lay claim it. Anything you touch is yours. All the businesses is yours. All the money in the world is yours. All that money they've been giving to these foreigners is yours. This whole world is ours. It was inhabited by Negroes and having this whole country. How the heck did they notice the saying? They come out the thin blue sky. Think about it, Dane. Truth is stranger than fiction. Do you think? I'm talking about it is so strange to the point where it's like, wait a minute, this can't be real. I seen something similar to what was in that sky and it kept moving. I don't know what the heck that was, but ain't nobody never seen the moon. The moon was just a satellite projection. Do you understand? Mm. Do you understand? Mm. Do you understand how fake this stuff is? If I go up there, do I wake up? What's going on? Mm. I mean, geez, to the point where if two planes go through the direction, are they going to collide together? They ain't never did that. The unknown truth is the hardest thing. The unknown truth. It's the hardest thing to hit because you might die. The truth is almost like death because you want to find out everything before you die. I want to find out the truth. Is there really? Is this world round or flat? What's going on question here? Question everything. This is question everything. You guys don't understand. It's like they hold you in that prisoner, prison of the matrix to the point where you can't see or touch or think of anything. They don't want you to think out the box. They have a narrative of a factory that you continue to keep going. Man, I'm telling you, sometimes I, I want to speak to my, my family, but it's like they think I'm crazy. Your family right they here. Think, yeah, no, nah, not here. No, no, Talk right here. Mine. No, no, no. Yeah. I'm telling you, your family right here. It's going to yeah, be some yeah. family members that's not going to agree with you. That's fine. That's right. Just know that you got a family yeah, right I'm, here. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell y'all something. They think, I'm going to tell y'all something. You guys be strong. You understand? Stay strong. Don't let them discourage you. Keep on going, y'all. Because you know what? It's all right. It hurts, but you know what? I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep on going because I, I don't see enemies here. You guys, you don't know that we all went through that same line of it's like we're just like the survival of the fitness of the mental people. Mm-hmm. We're surviving something that's against us and we're going against it. This is a victory. We didn't, vi- we, this is what you think about it, Dane. We were not supposed to be in this predicament mentally. We're supposed to be sleep, sleeping among the sleeping dead mm. in the matrix. But we have escaped to know the truth of the light. Of yep. The light. I'm plugging from that matrix. Woo! Everybody need to unplug, man. Unplug from this Christmas stuff. Unplug from that crap. I'm just, I'm telling you guys, unplug from it. It ain't worth it. The more you know, the more you dig deep in your in your family tree, 
the more happy you find out, find out that your dad owned all this. You might even find out that he invented something that they use using right now. Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? He could have invented the light bulb. Because think about it. We made out electricity. How they know that? Mm-hmm. Only we knew that. We were scientists, math magicians. Every, we built on pyramids. Where they get them stories from? Right here. They get all those stories that didn't exist. They existed right here. You finding all those bones, hundreds of bones from my ancestors. And I'm telling you right now, I'm, I'm just really excited and happy to get to this point because I'm not, I don't care about none of this. I don't care about none of this stuff. <laughs> Listen, I used to be afraid years ago. I used to have that pressure. Like, a man, I got all oh, men and bills and all that stress and stuff. All that's bull crap. It's just to stress you. Mm-hmm. They know what it's they're distraction. doing. Mm-hmm. Yep. All that nonsense and that distraction. And I know I'm not going to talk about, did you see Cat win? Man, if the heck with that. I know it's playing chess. It's chess, not checkers, y'all. Mm-hmm. It's chess. It's a chess game. And I'm going to tell you what. I ain't afraid of police. I ain't afraid of that because I'm telling you right now. I can stand in front of the Supreme Court judge and tell him to F himself. Get the hell out of my land. This is my land. Not sure. Yeah, that court so system falling anyway. I am so happy to say that. This is my homeland. That's right. The whole time. Like, remember when uh, off of uh, Planet of the Apes, when he came there, he said, I've been home all this long. Yep. You know that. You know what I saw? I saw our ancestors right there. I said, this is my home the whole entire time. All they these put, buildings. They put messages in there all the time. Yeah, all these buildings, all these infrastructures, all this, all this ancient tech, all this stuff. The cell phone was years ago. Years, all this technology came in years ago. The real McCoy, all these inventions, yep. the train, the, the, the gas, the, the car, the patents of the car, all was created. The light bulb, the, the night lights, the stop, the stop lights, all that stuff was created by us. We're the greatest. We're the oldest. We're the ancient we're beings. We got the oldest DNA. We are the we are the chosen people. We are the chosen ones. I'm trying we're to tell gods, you. Man. We've been brought here by a creator. And I'm telling you right now, man, I sometimes, man, want to find out that unknown truth is something to behold. But at the same time, finding the truth could mean your life. But at the same time, I'm thinking... Sometimes we're in our deepest meditation when we sleep. And at our deepest meditation, do we see our path as the unconscious? Or do how do we see it when we wake up in the morning? How do we think? What are we going to think about when we do everything? The term is upon us. So we got to be focused. The dictators. I'm so mm-hmm. glad. And I'm so glad I was on this panel to say this because, man, I love you. I love your wife. I love your work because you inspire me to do the work that I need to do. This is what I told somebody on that panel when I was on there. I had to step down because this distraction, the stuff that was going on was just, it's like, I got to get out there and get some stuff done because I don't, I don't need no fear mongering. I need to be encouraged to go after it because it's that energy that we, you know, they go off that energy, these satellites. You think these, these uh, things, these 5Gs were just put there for no reason. It's a frequency. Mm -hmm. It hurts. They have to do this. Because we carry something inside us that we don't even know. We got abilities that we have not even touched yet inside us that mm. we can't because they need all this stuff. <laughs> Why you think they created this stuff? Mm. So that you don't tap into what you really are. They got to see it from somewhere. <laughs> it ain't just come out of thin air now. They, 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 they mocking something. You think they created Marvel and all that DC? Where do you think they got that from? Uh-oh. Think about it. Uh-oh. You don't think you ain't got that ability? Mm. They're trying to stop you from that God ability you got inside you. I mean, if we was made in his it. All right, all right. Go ahead. Oh, my God. Go ahead. I can go on. I can go on because I do research, too, but I can go on and on, man. But I just want to, to say what I got to say. And I want to hear what y'all got to say. Cause, and I'm so glad, man. Dane, I appreciate the time. I appreciate you, brother. I had up here. Absolutely. I love you. I love you I love you, too, brother. Panel, and I hope you all continue on. And fight on, learn about this history, learn about our shoe store.
Absolutely, brother. I enjoyed that. I appreciate you, brother. Man. That's a... Set it on fire. 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 I'm dropping a but I got to drop a couple of bombs on that. Man. Um... It was one, I'm trying to remember, it, I, I wanted to say something right when he said, because uh, it, it, that picture came up in my mind. As soon as he said that, mm, I was trying to recall what that was. It's going to come to me, Reach. It's going to come to me. Um, Let me get ready to get a cyst up in here real quick. Wait a minute, y'all. All right. Uh, hold up. Wait, let me do, hold on. I got to double check to make sure that's not a sister. Oh, I can't tell if that I can't. It's far away. That picture's so far away. I apologize if you see that. I'm, I didn't mean to because I can see her. I apologize. The picture's so far away. And I got my glasses on. All right, hold on. Let me try to get this. Sister. Okay. Can you hear me, sister? Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. I can hear you clearly. Oh, oh my gosh. Um, I ain't gonna lie. I'm so nervous right now. Why are you nervous? <laughs> I wasn't even sure if I was gonna. I wasn't even sure that I was gonna get picked. <laughs> what you mean? Don't be nervous. Hey, oh, I'm. Oh. I, you good? You good to go? I mean, yeah. It's a, it's a lot of people watching, but. Don't be nervous. Just if it's something you got to get out, get it out. If you want to talk about the Civil War portion of what I was talking about, the Confederate flags, you can. Something else, you I let me I, know. Right. I wish I could talk about it um, because, like, I don't know much um, about it. And I'm so glad that you're sharing that with us. It's, I really do appreciate everything that you and your wife are doing, uh, letting us know about these things that we truly don't know. We've yeah. been lied to for so long wow. and you, when you try what well, i've tried to share what i've learned with other family members and i truly do feel um moving in silence uh what that brother was saying um, yeah. about family not um listening and your friends not listening mm -hmm. because they were uh, they was brainwashed also uh, yeah. taught these lies and that's all they believe and it's unfortunate uh, I, like, mm -hmm. I just i love it i appreciate it i got um two of your books the first book i got was um about tracing the genealogy and yes ma'am now um it was told in reverse i got those yes um, ma'am i appreciate that sister and I, um, as soon as I get done, um, I'm going to get your latest one. Okay. I'm going to get that too. Um, mm -hmm. right now I'm, I'm trying to encourage my mother to help me. I was like, I already got my birth certificate. That was the first thing I got. My grandmother, uh, when I was, um, 18 told me, go get your birth certificate. And and I did that. So I've always had my birth certificate. That wasn't an issue. I just didn't have my grandmother's birth certificate or marriage license or anything or my mother's. And so you starting um, it growing. Yeah. OK. So that's why I'm starting it. And um, I finally after so long, my mother finally decided to help me with getting that uh -oh. information. And let's go. She got involved now. Right. And it was like so hard because she was like, because for years they were like, well, baby, you only an Indian on your daddy's side of the family. Because my father's um, um, family is from Louisiana, um, New Orleans. So they're, uh, we're Creole and Indian. Um, uh, according to, um, what my grandmother and aunt said, we're Creole and, um, Cre uh, 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 yeah, Creole and Cherokee. 
but my aunt is saying that we're not only Creole and Cherokee, but we're also Chippewa. And um, and grandmamas. You said Chickasaw. Oh, no, um, um, Chippewa. What? What? What state? If you don't mind Louisiana. me asking. Oh, both sides was Louisiana. No, no, no. I'm talking about my um on my father's side. I'm sorry, on my father's side. Uh, your mother's. But, if you don't mind me asking, we don't got to share too much information on your mother's side. What state? Um, my mother was born in Michigan, but um, my grandmother on her my mother. mother's side is okay. from Arkansas. And that's her mother, and, right? Yes, her mother. Okay. And my um my aunt told me after my grandmother passed that grandmama said that we had Blackfoot in our family. Okay. So uh, and this is all okay. your mother's side. That's on my mother's side. Blackfoot, my mother's side, and on my father's side, so, Creole. Yeah, Creole, Chippewa, and Cherokee. And, mm. and that's what I wanted to find out. So you and, are you starting now, but you do have a lot of the information as far as your, you know, the births and death records, or at least that those dates per se. And I, you do have the I locations. Have the, I have um, the information. Uh, I don't have the uh, the certif- uh, the c- certificate, the birth certificate, mm-hmm. or the death certificates of neither one of my grandmothers. I just have. Um, those dates their obituaries so you okay so you do have those dates when they were born as well you do have that yeah okay and my yeah my dad was on board with it it was just a whole money thing at first uh about the the issue of getting it um when i got old enough to start looking for it uh looking for myself um they shouldn't be charging no arm and a leg though I know, but when you struggling to make ends meet. Okay, no, no, that's no, no, no. I apologize, I but I, I, I was just about to say they should not be charging no arm and a leg for them records. They shouldn't be, especially. No, it's, it's not. Okay. When I found out uh, how much they charge, I was like, oh shoot, I could pay for that. Okay. I'm yeah, just verifying because right. if you would have said otherwise, yeah. I would have been like, hold up, where that's at? Because we need to know that. Right, because at first they was like. You that costs too much money to get all that information. I'm like, ooh, ooh, ooh. can we save up money to do it? <laughs> because they, they got to see that it's younger. They wouldn't tell me. They they got to see and that it's worth it. Was, it. That's all. I, yeah, you know what I'm saying. And it's it's unfortunate. I mean, our people would go buy a pack of cigarettes. And some, I mean, you know, it is what it is. But they just gotta they just gotta see that it's worth it. This is about their history. Uh, mm-hmm. They, you know, I mean. Not only yeah. is it going to be beneficial for you, it's going to be beneficial for them. You no longer have to hear a stranger yeah. tell you about your story. Right. Because I, because um, growing up, I had questions about myself. Because um, when I was uh, little, my father used to say, oh, baby, you Indian. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, okay. And um, the older I got, um, his mother... Um, I was asking her questions and she was like, well, baby, I really don't know uh, because I'm mixed. Um, Because mm-hmm. uh, she was saying that, um, you know, she she don't think that she was a certain percentage of Indian. Wait a minute. It, <laughs> the percentage part. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Right. Stop right, right there. Yeah. The only way you're really going to know is you've had that paperwork, the paper trail of your family members to see. Because when it came mm-hmm. to the percentages uh, where they were trying to see the racial mixing, that was all made up. And then I was spe- especially at a time where they didn't even have the so-called DNA testing and how it is right now. They didn't have it back then. Uh, mm-hmm. As far as that technology is concerned. I mean, you know, that. <laughs> They just basing it off of what they believe in by way of skin complexion. Like mm-hmm. we, we could knock that out the window simply by straight up seeing exactly where they were located on the paperwork, what county, what time period, wh- how long were they living there? Okay. Mm-hmm. Was other family members around that surrounding area? I mean, that sounds like plantation, reservation, ghetto, whatever you want to call it. That sounds like their territory to me, but that's mm-hmm. how you really find out. Like, uh, once you get to that point, when you start grabbing those records, you in here now, you, you know how to reach, right? 
Yeah, I do. Okay. And I, uh, it's funny that you said that about the plantations because uh, when I was talking to my grandmother, now this is my grandmother on my mother's side, and she would tell me about her growing up. She always said that she lived on a farm. She never said anything about a plantation. It wasn't until after she died, one of my aunts was saying, oh, gra grandma lived on a plantation. I said, that's not what grandma told me. You know what? She why? said she lived on a farm. I wonder why our people like made uh, like a negative connotation with that term plantation, as if that's not an area where they plant things like farms. <laughs> I don't understand why. Yeah. But, it is what it is. Like, if they worked on the plantation, right. they was doing a the job. They was out in the field. They could have owned it. For all that, we would need mm -hmm. to know. <laughs> we would right. need to know. Well, yeah, according to that, aunt, she was like, Dude, she kept getting harassed by the white folks and all this such and such. And I'm like, that's uh -uh. not what grandmama told me. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Well, we, we really need to know what's going on now. Because what, right, what if exactly what if what if that <laughs> was, hold on because look what if that was true because why else would she get harassed was it because of her okay. was it because of her it could have been her land and they wanted her to sell it mm, we I, need, that part I do not know I'm just, that and that's exactly why I want to find out I, I'm gonna drop a bomb I, I'm waiting I would love to know. Those are the type of okay. stories I'm interested in knowing. I'm nosy. You know, I'm, I mean, you ain't got to tell me everything, but I would love to know how that well, went. Dang, you know, like, I ain't going to lie. Like, man, I, I'm going to him to you like a few times. Like, man, how can I talk to my family? Because they blocking. <laughs> Who blocking? My aunt, my, first my mama, then my daddy, and uh, my aunts and stuff. I was like, <laughs> wait a minute. So, so, I At mean. At first they was. Now it's like, I, now my so they open up like, now. okay, baby, I'll help you. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, I was just asking. So they open up now. So they they are helping right now. Yeah. And yeah, you? She said, "Give her, uh, give her uh, the beginning of this year." So I'm like, "Okay." All right, but let's so, get it started. So I mean, let's started. please let, let's let's get that started. Yeah, and I would, yeah, and I would definitely let you know about please. that journey. I'll DM you. I'll share whatever I I learn. I'll share with you. Please. And that information is not going to go outside of the DMs that we have. I, I promise you that. Uh, anything y'all need help with, you got to reach out to me. Let me know what it is. Let me see what you have. And then I can point you in the right directions, especially when you are doing the, the footwork part. You know, mm -hmm. and then we could go from there. I appreciate that. Sister, was it anything else on that note that you wanted to say? Or was it anything else that you wanted to mention as far as a different topic or relating? You got the uh, floor. Well, my um my aunt on my father's side did say something about um uh great granddaddy being from Turkey. And then okay. I have another cousin on that same side of the family is saying, no, nah, he was uh from the Indies. I forgot which one. I ain't gonna lie because um I I had like um four mini strokes and sometimes I forget details. Sometimes not oh. Occasionally, it happens. Okay. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'm doing way better than I was. What I, was doing I was just before. about to. Okay, that was my next question. I'm, I'm glad you said that. Yeah. So you're um, stronger. I'm like, I'm like 80% there. Hey, I mean, you sound great. Hey. Yeah, I mean, that's not, you know, and I'm not just saying that to big you up. I'm telling you the truth. You sound great. I would have never known, number one. And number two, I'm glad you're still here with us. You know, because we got work to do and all that uplifting that you need. If you don't even get that inside of your family, you got a family right here that you could depend on. I'm just letting you know that right now. Hey, dang, that's why I'm, I've am i been sticking to you like glue ever since, uh, like, what? I started watching your YouTube in, since uh, 2018. I appreciate that. I mm -hmm. appreciate that. So, I mean, now, now that I know what's for sure and I've been seeing your name around, keep in contact with me. And, and if you yeah. can't reach me, I have my mods and my admins in there, too, just in case. So don't don't stop just because I may be busy. OK. Yeah, I, I just kind of figured that. But and I appreciate you. I appreciate you sharing the information you and your wife. And I love her channel. And <laughs> I'll tell you that last one. Yeah. That last one that she did with the breakdown with the movie. 
Oh my! Oh gosh! I gotta watch this few more times. Yeah, I she in that one. She went in and she got more coming. I, matter of fact, after I get off live, she gonna make me edit one. So I gotta edit her <laughs> audio. I, I got work yeah. to do right after this, but yeah, I appreciate that, and I know she do too. She probably listening. She may say something in the chat. If you paying yeah. attention, she in there. She is awesome, and I love the playful banter that you have, and the, and the love and affection that you express when when you talk to her. And you're <laughs> like, shoot, I'm married. That's right. <laughs> love it. I love it. I appreciate that. I appreciate it. You got you put a big smile on my face here. That I appreciate that. I yeah, hope people do because you know I'm messing around with my wife. You know, that's my wife. I hope people, pre- you know, what I'm saying because that's how I be. You know, that's real life. Hey, cause like, and brother, I'm married too. I've been married for 16 years. You, you, Woo! um, you've been married longer than me. Yes, ma'am. And I was like, yeah, because I'm, I'm 42. Me and my husband are both 42 years old. So. I've been yeah. with my wife since. As soon as we hit 21. Matter of fact, slightly before uh, that. But when we got, oh, when we made beautiful. it official. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, yep, yep. That's beautiful. Like, I uh, I was 25 and my husband was uh, was 26. Like, we was both born in 81, but. Um, hey. But. Oh, you're but, an 80 yeah. baby. It's like, he's, 80s baby. he's just a few more uh, months older than me. That's right, because you did say 42. Congratulations mm-hmm. to both of y'all. I wish both of y'all much, 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 much success and a lot of positive energy y'all way. And I'm so yeah. thankful that you became stronger and stronger and you keep on going, getting stronger and stronger. And don't you hesitate. Some days may be rougher than others, but keep going. Don't give up. We need you with us, sister. Yes, thank you. I appreciate you so much. I appreciate y'all both. And, that, and I appreciate being a part of this and you making this um, access to where we can all come together and learn and share information with each other. That's right. I really do appreciate it a lot. I You're appreciate from that. Each other. Yep. That's what it, that's what the community is for. And other things, too, that I'm not going to mention. But because right. we live on YouTube, right. we got we, we got to keep that in house. But sister, right. when right. y'all get that, when yeah. y'all get that thing going with you and your mother, Keep me posted. DM me in here. Did I already accept your friend request? Tell me right now. I will do it live. Yeah, you did. I did? Okay. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. I'm double checking. Yeah, yep. Okay, you're right. You're right. I just double checked. I wanted to make sure. Yep, I sure did. So when you're ready, let me know. I will. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Wido. I appreciate that. All right. All right, so, oh, Choctaw Montana, what's wrong? Everything all right? Wait, I see Levante hit me too. Y'all all right? Hold up. I'm double checking. Hold up. My mom's just, let me make sure everything's straight real quick. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, no, Levante talking about something else. Choctaw Montana, you good? Everything good? I don't think, I don't know if he can hit me or not. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, they respond. Okay, yeah. You want to make sure. Okay, now nah, you good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You good. I appreciate that. Yeah, all right, good. Yeah, I thought something was wrong when y'all popped up like that. I was like, hold up. Y'all was back to back. All right, hold up. All right, so let's, uh, we just did a sister. Let me get a brother on here right now. <laughs> hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. Okay, there you go. All right, so, all right, let me get the, oh, man, I, oh, man, I wish I knew if this was a brother or sister right here. Uh, Hear wisdom. Hear wisdom. Please tell me if you brother or sister in the in the 13% community chat real quick, please, because that's what I'm referring to. And now I know you didn't gift the members. I'm not trying to skip. Sister, okay, all right. I apologize because that was your turn, but I'm going to get you right after this brother right here. I promise, okay? I promise. Okay, I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm sorry, because that picture was so far away, I couldn't tell. Hold up. All right, let me get this brother up in here. All right, you got to accept. All right, there you go. Oh, see your brother. Can you hear me? Peace, I can hear you. Good. Oh, yeah, you loud and clear. Perfect, perfect. Oh, see your brother, so 
I mean, it, you could talk about the genealogy side because I see a couple of people that talked about that, or we could talk about the segment today, the Civil War, the Confederate flag. What you got? Man, I'm, I'm, I'm going to just touch in on a little bit, but first, I just want to shout out because I'll never hear when I come on here, but shout out to Carolina, the PD in what, the building. What you mean? I be shouting out <laughs> Carolina all the time. What you hey, mean? I'm, I'm talking about live and in effect. I'm Man, about, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> man, I don't never miss the end. Shout out to the PD. Whole time, that's my grandfather folk right there, man. I'm definitely yes, not about to. Nah, I shout out to Carolinas all the time now. Yeah, my, yeah, yeah. I don't man, play I that. Just to come on here, man. One salute to you. Light and progress to your ancestors. May they continue to lift you up. Keep doing Appreciate your thing. Appreciate that, brother. Uh, but I just want to come on being from uh, South Carolina, Conway, South Carolina, at that, down by Myrtle Beach. Uh, I love you know, Myrtle we, Beach. We, we grew up always, the Civil War is one of those things that they always repeat and they never told it from the aspect of what you're sharing now. But I had a, a grandfather who always used to share about the Civil War, about, you know, it's always two sides to something. He never went in detail, but always spoke on it being two sides of something. Mm. And, you know, when you grow up hearing that, because in South Carolina, you know, it's, it's when, it, especially in Conway, where... They still have the first hanging tree in the middle of the street. They built the street, the street around the tree. Mm -hmm. So we always was going against the Oyimbos uh, or the Europeans, always going against them because <laughs> when you ride, you see them with their rebel flags and right. such and always dictating. But appreciate you sharing this tonight because it 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 now brings light to another aspect of power that you can call for, especially those ancestors who fought for that you know just calling back that power back into this realm and this essence this energy for us to use to empower to go even further and just you know have more on deck when it comes to the spiritual aspect of what we need to do to win because it's all spiritual warfare that's right but uh, -uh. uh on, on the genealogy man just a quick question um uh, uh with this being a pd and uh with my grandma i'm learning you know with her at first, and my whole story is, you know, I went down a whole rabbit hole from, you know, RBG to being part of, uh, you know, going through my whole knowledge of self and trying to find out who I am. Ain't and nothing wrong with that. Ancestor Veneration was the part that brought me to really understanding who I am and through genealogy. Mm -hmm. uh, in this research, when you're doing it and you're speaking, for instance, like with dealing with the PD, I, 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 it's you don't find a lot of a lot of information about that type of tribe, but, but what you do find, I mean, it, it's you see it connected with the Catawba Indians. That's and correct. The, the, uh, I think I'm pronouncing it right, but the, no, the that was Gule, right. Uh, the Gule G U A L E is which they get the Gullah from in the Gullah Geechee aspect. Uh oh, you hear their stories uh -oh. mingling together. Uh oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, go ahead. I, go ahead. Go ahead. They should yeah, know so, that it was separate. Gullah Geechee was separate. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So the, I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. It's Gule, but it's G-U-A-L-E was a whole Indian tribe who worked along with the Seminoles and that whole, what they say, the Geechee coast all down in the waters. But uh, I don't. you don't find a lot about PD other than, you know, they. it speaks that there was a small tribe who went against who fought against the Catawba, but they end up either they won at one point, but then they turn around, Catawba came back, joined it with another tribe and end up beating them and taking them over. Or some of the women in some of the books that say the women went and live amongst the Catawba and then they started mixing within tribes that way. Uh, but mm. what insight can you give me with, because my family, last name Williams, uh, Brantley's, Jordan's, um, we just try. I'm trying to go more in depth and trying to find out that information. What what county are they at? What county? I'm talking about the people that were in that side. Were you saying Petey? Uh, what county were they in? Oh, Ori County. Because my grandma said, you know, when you when she talk about my granddaddy, they was Jordans. She always say the PD boys. Yeah. that's what they called them, the PD boys. Yeah. Did they go to the PD school? They went to yes. Uh huh. Oh man, hold up. You might be fam, bro, because you didn't say one last name. I'm not going. We we might have to talk personally, cause um, we might have to talk personally, especially when you said, mm, yeah. Let me not, cause I'm not trying to give out my information, cause I know <laughs> a lot. That's that's dealing with my family right there. 
Okay. Um, okay. Can you DM me right now? <laughs> right now? Uh, and then we're going to have to okay. talk because you didn't. You said something that I'm not trying to verify with these folk that I don't know. But yeah, we'll, we'll be able to knock that out quickly. <laughs> quickly. Do you have any paperwork by any chance? Yes, sir. I okay. was able to find... Uh, so my granddaddy's... His father, father... Well, my granddaddy's mother... My granddaddy's mother, her dad, who was uh, a weaver... I was able to find okay. him on the roads, but when I found him on the roads, it was connected with the Cherokee. But speaking with my grandma, she was saying I always knew them to be PD. But see, keep in mind, some of them go went Cherokee. Like when you were saying that there was wars, that it did happen. Some of them did spread out. It depends on their situation, though. It depends on the situation. Not to say that the PD lost. Some of them were just adopted in because a war did take place, and the chief was is gone. But um, okay. I'm a, I'm gonna have to see, you know, once once I see that paperwork and we can pinpoint exactly where that particular person was as far as county is concerned and how long they've been sitting there, we can we can know for sure if they PD or not. That's not okay. an issue. And by the way, they still around. Okay. They still okay. around. Um, okay. Me and you gonna have to talk though because I don't want to get too personal because that's close to home right there. Oh yeah, My, it, it was saying I can't send you a message because uh Hold on, I gotta uh, accept I you as a friend, friend request. request. Yeah, yeah, hold on, I, I'm about to do it right now. I just did it. You you got okay, it? Okay, bet. Bet. Yeah. Yeah, see my my that's my side Florence, South Carolina. You know that ain't too far away. That's a hop, skip, and a jump. That's a hop, skip, and a jump. Yes, that's right. and I got family down that way as well. You you saw I said hop, skip, and a jump. Right, right, okay. right. I heard I, I'm I heard just I'm day. using my that's, South Carolina. I know what's I ain't saying nothing no. else. That's yeah, you, us all day. You might be fam whole time. I I gotta we gotta see. That's that's a that's that's kind of close. We, oh we, yeah. We, yeah, we gotta see. Okay, well I would. Hey, I'm hey, I'm love to link up with you, brother. And just to everyone, this is the time. If I can share this real quick, is uh, this is the time when it comes for us as spiritual people. Continue to do your genealogy. I don't care who around you, who be talking down, whoever is willing to learn because, again, this is spiritual warfare, and it's time to wake up the answers. Well, it ain't time to wake them up. They ready. They sitting there waiting on us to put them to work. Thank you. So please understand that when they leave here, energy never dies. It only can be transferred. And if we understand and learn how to really work the energies of our loved ones because it's in our blood, all you got to do is speak it, close your eyes, and speak their names. And it'll activate within yourself. So what they did back then, close your eyes and tell them exactly what you want them to do right now. And it's done. I'm dropping the ball. Set it on fire. fire. So fire. shout out to every last one of you, Danny, your wife, a beautiful couple. Keep doing your thing. Salute to all y'all out there. We up. Appreciate y'all. DM me, brother. Before you go, please DM me. Oh, okay. No, oh, no, you I'm did it. Here. I said, I said, it just popped up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm doing it right now. I just got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. I appreciate right. that, brother. Stay put. Right. We're going to have to talk. Yes, sir. Peace. Love to you. Same to you, brother. Wado. Wado. Yeah, he too close to home. I ain't going to be... Mm-mm. It, it, he start... Uh, mm-mm. Them last names. That's fam right there. Whole time. That's all I'm going to say. I know that's fam right there. I wonder if my mother in the chat. My mother probably chopped, probably perked up soon as she heard that. And, and look, straight down there too, here. Straight down there. And that's that's still, you know, that's that was my old stomping grounds right there. Like that was like second home right there, coming through there. So I ain't gonna say too much. I'ma just leave that alone to me and the brother gonna have to talk on a personal level. Whole time. That, that that's probably fam. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you that right now. I got quiet when he started naming them down. I was like, hold up. Oh, love. Let me, uh, let me, let me. I'm a hush, but we, me and him, gonna talk on a personal note because I said, oh, shit. Oh, love. Then he named the territory. I was like, oh, oh, love. Let me keep my shit to myself, man. Don't be trolling my family. You know, I don't want y'all blowing up phones and all the rest of that. But anyway, that's funny. That, that was funny. Yeah, man. I knew it was gonna happen. I knew it was gonna happen. I knew it was gonna happen. I was gonna run into some fan one day. It didn't happen before, but that was a couple years ago. I think that was like four years ago last time I ran into some fam. 
If I'm not mistaken, I think it was about four or five ran into some fam on a live stream. Just like this. I remember that. But it's it's been a while. But shoot. I, I, I remember one time, the last time I went down there, it was me and my wife. We was down there. Uh, we stopped at the south of the border because it used to be a little, y'all, if y'all know what I'm talking about, south of the border, the little, it was supposed to be a little theme park and everything, but it, it was ran down and I couldn't believe how that stuff, but back in the day, it used to be like that, but south of the border, I stopped right there, get some gas. Y'all should know what I'm talking about, South Carolina. Uh, I stopped there, get some gas, a brother pull up, damn, damn. I was like, yeah. Hey, man, you in South Carolina, man? And he stopped <laughs> That joke was so funny. But yeah, I said, yeah, man, this is my second stomping grounds, man, at a gas station. I love South Carolina. They're loud and everything. They don't care. They don't care. What's that, man? That's my brother right there. Y'all know, man. That's my brother. Let me pump your gas for you. I'm good, brother. I'm good. <laughs> I appreciate that. But uh, yeah, man, that, that's South Carolina. And them boys cooking down there, too, you know. And then yeah, Myrtle Beach, one of my favorite beaches. You know, on top of that, I I might as well put that out there. Myrtle Beach, one of my favorite beaches. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, okay. Let me get off of that. Anyway, so where we at right now? Oh, hold on. Let me bring the sister up. Huh? I, <laughs> look at the 13%. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let me bring the sister up real All right, now you got to accept it on your side, sister. Yeah, that's Southern hospitality go a long way. We was just talking about that earlier. We was just talking about that earlier. There you go, sis. Can you hear me? It's, oh, you got it. Yeah, you go. There you go. Yep. Can you hear me? I think you got to give your um cell phone permission. You got to you got to accept it. <clears throat> but you in here, I can see you, but I can't hear you. If you can hear me, you got to accept it on your side. Basically, give the app permission to utilize your cell phone's uh, microphone. Yeah, Myrtle Beach is beautiful, man. Yeah, that was that's one of my favorite beaches. That's one of my favorite beaches. <laughs> Stingray Beach. <laughs> there you go, sis. I can, can you hear me? Wait a minute. She, she might be having phone trouble right there. But I, I can see you, sis, but I can't hear you. Look, and look, you, you ain't got to go too far away to get them crabs now. You could be right there. It's taking me. I'm unmuted. You Okay, sis, make sure that you uh give your permit. I mean, excuse me, give your phone, excuse me, give the app permission to utilize your microphone. It should have asked you that. If not, if not, sister, come out and come back in. Try it one more time. It's in your sentence. Because it, it, that message was supposed to pop up automatically. Your picture was show. Hold on, I can't see. Wait a minute, let me see. Oh, you know, you talking to her, okay. Uh... Look Look at all the Southerners in the chat. She, okay, now, did, did you do it right there? It didn't work? Uh-oh, she, all right. Uh, <clears throat> because now, now it's saying that it's muted, but that's the part that you got to, you, you got to give the app permission to utilize your microphone. Let me, um, uh, uh, when you, sis, I got you. As soon as you work that out, I'll bring you right back up. I promise. I'm not playing. I'm a, I, we might have to break the cycle of me going male, female. I got you. As soon as you work it out, just send another one. Just request to speak, and I'm going to bring you right back up. Let me, um, let me, hold up. Let me see if I could grab one more sis real quick. Okay, that's a. Uh, let me see. Uh, 
Uh, do me a favor, artist, you should know. Please make that a picture of yourself. You gave me a picture of a robot with glasses. Please make it a picture of yourself. I ain't going to put you on screen. You ain't got to worry about all that, but I got to know that you are an individual that's either male or female. Please. <laughs> hold up. Let me. Okay, this is sis right here, right? Yep. All right, hold on, sister. You got to accept it on your side. You got it right there. You got it right there. You got to accept it on your side. Those of you that's trying to get on side, I mean, get on side, get on the panel. Uh, please be sure that you add a picture of yourself, whether male or female. And um, and then that I'm way good. I could bring you. Okay, there you go. Sister, how are you? I'm fine. I'm Well, you see, my name is Patrice. Uh, yeah, my yeah. My name is Patrice. Okay, so um, I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. Um. I was gonna. I was gonna talk about. Um, it was a time when I was younger. My, I remember my mom used to take me to Alabama. Um, I know that my family on my mother's side is rooted from Alabama. Okay. And in Georgia, and when I was doing my genealogy, I didn't have a problem finding my mother's father's side because um, their last name they never change just been solid and mm. usually when I run into someone in Cleveland that has the same last name as my grandfather they're usually come to find out they're my my cousins or something like that in that nature so it's it's funny because in my family um as far as my mother's side they don't really talk about the family history and I don't know if it's due to like family trauma and they just don't want to talk about it's a it possibility and at one point, I had both of my grandparents, and my grandmother, she don't really say too much. I think, I want to say like two years ago when she did pass, um, she had, um, like I think I want to say like three months before she passed, she started telling me a lot of stuff about like certain parts of the family, but it would be like bits and pieces. Okay. But the things that I did know about that particular side of the family, my great-grandfather um, he was a well-known pastor in uh, Birmingham, but mm. it was weird because it was weird because my grandmother always kept us in church. When I say like, if I say present day now, I rarely go to church, and it's because I used to ask the questions. And when I was like in uh, Sunday school, I used to always ask questions. And I remember they was talking about in Genesis about the firmament, and I had asked the question pertaining to the uh from me and i got kicked out kicked out kicked of what out of, uh, sunday school they kicked me on out Ooh. and my grandmother also she's a minister too like i have a line of ministry ministry in my family so uh when the pastor had got word from um the sunday school teacher about me asking these questions they told my grandmother and you know Southern grandparents, they, they don't mind whooping you. Either you, you're going to get a belt, a hand, shoe, mm. a, a, a It's one of those things. So, like, I usually did. I was one of the ones out of all her grandkids that really didn't get whoopings um, because I was always observant and I always moved. I moved in my own tune. I was always alone and I always was with my oldest brother because me and him, we always were into like researching and getting down to the deeper things. Like my my oldest brother, he's very um, knee deep in politics. Uh, one time he had ran for a councilman about like, I want to say about seven years ago and pretty much they they cheated. Mm. It was a uh, it was a mayor in Jackson, Jackson, Michigan, to be precise. And um, he uh, he was always the mayor. Like nobody ever like went after him as far as like he paying, he paying for it. Yeah. Yeah. So when my brother came on the scene, he was already a well-known person. So he when his name entered in the ballots, it was people voting for him. But he was also receiving um, death threats to the wow. point. To the point where uh, he didn't stop. He went through. He lost, but he was invited to one of the um, the parties. And he he always my thing. I was never political. Um, 
I want to say I was never politically like educated on that particular um, category. Okay. My thing was always digging in um, U.S. history because it never resonated with me in school. And it um, it took like I want to say when I was in high school, it took me I want to say back in like 2006. And um, I had a black history teacher and uh-uh. he taught he taught the history according to the school's like, curriculum mm-hmm. curriculum but after school i used to always I, I was one of them kids that i didn't really go home like that i would find anything to do i did sports all that so after school me and him would sit back and we would have these conversations and it would be the opposite of what i was learning in the books and he was he used to always tell me that I was always a, a deep thinker about things and I wanted to go further to find a root because when he was like when he used to talk about the wars and I said um uh, when I was in class I was like that's weird that they only talk about these partic- you know particular wars I'm like I know that it had to be some other wars you mm-hmm. know due to me spending summers sound like England. me yeah it's been in summers in Cleveland and Alabama my grandparents I I was lucky enough to be alive to have my third great grandma alive. She didn't die. She died at the age of 107. Woo. Um, yeah, my grandparents, they died like like almost hidden hundreds. And she was the only one that I can recall that was 107 when she passed away. Woo. And my my grandfather I was speaking of about the church, he he just passed away like I want to say like 2000 and maybe 10. Okay. Like he, just, he just passed like, you know, not too far long ago, but he used to always between him and my, my grand my great grandmother with my great, great grandmother, they used to always speak about, um, they would speak about things like they seen like, like, well, my great, great, great grandma would speak about people working on a plantation. She never said that it was slaves. Right. And and I used to, uh, I didn't understand it at the time because I was younger. And um, she she would say things like um, about our blood types. And I have one of the rare blood types. Uh-oh, chill, and, chill. Wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> Cause I don't, yeah. Yeah, but you you good in part. here, but we got YouTube watching. Right. <laughs> got you um she told me about why i needed to protect myself because it was you know she's she said it in the phrase of being being rare but dangerous that's what she said and i never understood it so you know i me and my brother me and my brothers and my mom and stuff we you know my mom and them other than my older brother they didn't really care about like learning more like to that extent like they just wanted to go get their bag and that was it so, oh man yeah. yeah so me and my brother my oldest brother we always wanted to go into further about it but i was more i was more um inclined on um the medical aspect of it the biology part of it so okay. i was all one of those type of kids and um when I was doing my digging, I did find some stuff about that. And I was like, hmm, interesting. Uh uh-uh. So I always kept that. I always kept a journal just to, you know, go back, refresh. Right. And then dig in. So when I took a break from that, I would go back into the U.S. history. And I was looking through, like, the different wars and then, like, more so, like, maybe like the 1940s, the 1930s, around that area going up to the 1950s, I was seeing how like it was a lot of like protesting going on and people fighting for rights that necessarily they didn't really have to, they shouldn't have had to fight for it if they had the knowledge that we were the people in power. Yeah, already. Yeah, already. We work together. Yeah, we work together. So long story short, like as I'm collecting all this information, I'm touching back with my oldest siblings because I have uh, I have a twelve and a thirteen year gap between my oldest siblings and then an eight and a year and a half gap. And I'm the baby on both sides. So I always use this joke that like the my family don't like to listen to me because I'm the baby and they don't respect 
what I have to say because they think I don't know nothing. But mm. when they need something or they have questions about things, I'm the go to person always. I'm and, sure a lot of people can relate to that. <laughs> I'm sure they can. It happens. Yeah, it was crazy because, like, like I said, my mother's side was Alabama and Georgia, and then my father's side, his his family has a more of like a, a, a enriched stories. As I was finding out more information, but thanks to his mother, she was telling me stories during the summer times. Um, she couldn't walk, so she was bedridden. So a lot of times, my uh, like my cousins and them, they never wanted to sit down with her and just, you know, be in the presence of her and just chilling. So I used to always sit there with her and she would give me the family history from West Virginia. But uh -oh. I never knew until a couple of years later that not only she's from West Virginia, but my grandfather was from Virginia. But he oh. was more close by Lynchburg. He was from oh. Lynchburg. And my okay. dad used to always tell me a story about how, how he had lied about his age to join the service. Yeah. Him and my grandmother. A lot of people did too. that. I got family that did that too. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So it was funny because when I was when I first started my genealogy for that side of the family, because I was having a standstill on my mother's side as far as her mother's, uh, because they wouldn't really talk about things. Um uh, so I just dove into my dad's side. So on my father's side, <laughs> it was funny because my dad has a picture of a quote unquote old slave, right? And I used to always ask him, who was this man? And he used to tell me, like, oh, he used to um, go with, you know, Booker T. And I was like, okay. And he was like, yeah, he helped him, you know, starting off with like, like a lot of establishments that he did. And he was, and it's funny because he's also my grand, my, uh, he's my great, great grandfather, I believe. It's like great, great, great grandfather or something like that. And did you just say he was aide to Booker T? He, yeah, he allegedly helped him, right? But I'm, I'm about to tell you why I said okay. allegedly because okay. when you go into the uh, state, I believe it's the state of West Virginia, you know how they have the, um, like the little um, posters where they have like a fact about a particular landmark and whatnot. Yeah, the historical I marker. It was like, yeah, I believe it was a college. I, I want to say it was either a college or a church. I'm not too sure at the moment, but he um, he's on there. His okay. Name. They say his name in there, so that's what made me question it. But you can't find him really when you you know dig. So you can find uh, the you could you could find the author of that particular okay. historic marker. Especially with uh, Virginia Department of Historic Resources, they tell you who wrote okay. it and where it came from. Well, see, I was, I'm still, I'm still working on that far, as far as that because my my uncle, my my father's brother, he passed away a couple of years ago, and he had the actual whole family tree layout, but it's on his computer, and oh. my cousin can't get in. Is it password <laughs> so, protected? I don't think it. I'm not sure, but my my uncle was a very intelligent man, a very intelligent man, and he used to talk about these things. But like I said, we I used to think he was crazy because he was underneath. He he used to um, be an addict. So my dad used to say certain things that made me and my sisters think that like he was the Lulu to a certain extent, mm -hmm. but he he really wasn't. He was speaking facts. So as I was like digging through my grandmother's side, I discovered that her family was very wealthy. Wait a minute, what what is that still Virginia? Uh West West Virginia. So that's because West Virginia we, also. Yeah. So uh -oh. I discovered with my grandmother That's uh, a lot of land in West Virginia. The, uh, that's what I was about to get to. It, see, I I was talking to my, my sister a couple of days ago about this and I had a I had an aha moment and I was like, as I was looking through the lineage and stuff, my sister had told me that she got a message from a lady on Ancestry and she asked her like how she was a part of the family tree. And my, my sister had pointed out some facts and the lady disappeared because uh, the lady was on the Cherokee um, Dawes Road. Oh. And I was telling my sister I say, to my honest opinion, I think that um, I think somebody in particular stole our family's last name. Oh, so they could take a hold of that land in West Virginia 
But it wasn't not, just West Virginia. Uh-oh. It was, I mean, it wasn't it wasn't just West Virginia. It because at the time when I was looking through the articles and stuff, the land of West Virginia would go into Ohio. And my my grandmother had mentioned it to my dad back in the nineties about a town in Ohio that that belonged to us. But my dad, a town. Yeah, like it's just a town. You know how like um I know, you know exactly certain- what you mean, but go ahead. This is this is interesting. But <laughs> he told me back in the nineties about this town. And when I went to go research this town, it's not a small town. It's actually it's pretty big. And it's really rural, like it's country like. Okay. So And I they were dad. the owners of this town? Yeah. Because okay, so when my grandmother this is how I put it together, because, um, like I told you, our last names, it all it didn't really change for real. Well, as far as my grandma's side, it didn't really change, but we noticed that it was three different other names. And interesting, it was like it was like as they start off at one name. Oh, because it branched off like they came from Germany. Put it like that, and then they. It looked like they jumped around because I was able to go all the way back into the 1700s. And that's what made me start questioning things even more. And that could have been some Germans that came mm-hmm. and wanted to adopt that last name because something was old there. Some land was allotted or somebody already had it or it could have been Germans. We would need to verify that. We, we need to verify that by way of paperwork. Do what? And that's what, that's what okay. I was saying to my sister. Okay. That was, that was the whole Point out to my sister, and um, but I told her that honestly, I feel deep down inside that that's probably not the case. But I was like, I can't, you know, just put a stamp on it. I gotta figure, you know, I gotta dig a little you deeper. You gotta, you gotta go deeper to grab that. Um, because that, I mean, that makes sense that that was a strong possibility. And then them Germans took over with that same last name that your ancestors had originally and said, All right, mm-hmm. boom, let me get that. Or, yep. Or it could be a part of the family. We we got to find out what happened, because not and all we we can't sit up there and say all Europeans were Caucasians. So, yep. We we can't. And it's a lot of your. I mean, straight up, a lot of people from other countries that shared the same skin complexion as you and yep. I. So we we got to be sure of that. We got to be sure yep. of that. I, I don't want to make a guess there, but you know, right. That that's a very very interesting tale. I I appreciate yeah. that because when, when you're talking about having a town, that's a lot of acres. I would love to Is know that, more. And I'm trying to I'm trying to figure all this out. And then like between my grandmother and my grandfather, like my my dad, I was telling my dad that he um he worked on a plantation for a man that was a he well his family worked on his plantation for a a big time uh lawyer put it like that he was a very well known person and from when I researched him he branched out from Canada and I was like what the so um wait my, that the own the, the land owner was from Canada you said that's what it it claims allegedly hmm. but it wouldn't let me dig a little bit deeper but yeah I came to a certain standstill. And, are you um, able to travel? Like, are you? Can you get mobile? Yeah, you can. Okay. I, actually, it's crazy. I just we just came from uh, Virginia not too long ago, and I was sitting because um, my brother lives out there too. So my other brother lives out there. My husband's brother, my brother in love, and uh, we go out there and visit. And they stay in by like the military base, basically. But it besides the point, he's not that far away from like certain family members, and. Um, I was telling my husband that I, I want to do a little bit more research and and um because you're gonna need to some county more, records. Mm-hmm. You're gonna get you're and gonna I, need some county records. I seen that in mm-hmm. your, um your your YouTube video when you were uh talking about that and yeah. I was see when I'm at work, that's I be I be in a zone. I be at work on the computer typing and watching and listening to your videos and um like I hear a lot of things that you speak about and I resonate with a lot of things that you speak about. And also a lot of things that I be questioning myself about, you confirm it and it 
it'd be, it'd be like, what? Let me yeah. let me go back up in here and do some little research. Please. Let me let me research. Uh, you see what I'm saying? And so, you might. So my husband always make fun of me and my brother because he's like, man, he's like, y'all talk every day. I was like, man, because we got we we got some stuff to rap about. You don't I'm like hold up, stay over there because I also talk about like the uh like the buildings. Like I always I always noticed as a kid the uh, architecture, and I always think that was strange. And when I used to be in physics, when I took phys- physics my uh, junior year in high school, I had um, I had I had physics and biology, and it was crazy because I had them at the same time. So um, I remember in physics they were showing like coils, and I remember I seen um, I seen a historic. It was like a history document about like coils and like architecture, and I just said something right. So. Later on, coming up to like the past couple of years, I was doing my research on the old buildings and I was telling my brother like, yeah, it's some stuff you're going to have to dig into. And he was like, what you mean? I was like, because like, I was like, number one, they try to repurpose all the old buildings just to turn around and say, oh, we built that in two years. And you like, really? Like not with that stone? And mind you, I live in Cleveland, so we have a lot of historical buildings. And when I used to live, when I lived in Michigan as a kid, I was born in Cleveland, but my mom moved us out to Michigan. So, like, when I lived in um, Jackson, Jackson has castles. And one of the castles that they have, I remember as a kid, they occupied it as a prison. And I used to tell my brother, castles castles are not prisons, like, Mm-mm. That didn't make any sense, and my and I was about like six years old saying that, and I was like, castles are for kings and queens, like, and my brother was like, you're right, but he never like we never went in depth about it because he he figured I was just saying that because a Disney movie or something, and and let's be real, older, it wasn't the king and the queen building that castle, they mm-hmm. had people, architect, architects mm-hmm. came out. Scoped the yep. scene, mapped it out, built it up. And it wasn't no foreigners doing it, especially when it was right. already here prior to the foreigners trying to build around it, build above it, and then claim that it was theirs after two years of so-called renovation. It, this is... Go ahead. They had they had one building. It was one building. It was so gorgeous. And <laughs> they they let it... They let it be like they they use it for a different purpose and they use it for like, I want to say about 16 years and then they destroyed it. And I I was telling my brother, I'm like, they destroyed it because it was something that will reveal something. And he was like, why would you say that? And I was like, because I'm like, usually I say usually I say from our aspect as growing up and in classrooms, they always talk about how certain, you know, such beauties are historical landmarks so if it's a historical landmark why are you tearing it down Mm -hmm. like make that make sense yep but it's like this they They don't want that message to get out because if go go gadget send you a message it also tell you well after you finish with it it's going to self-destruct that that is a hidden note some things were destroyed but some things they couldn't destroy so they had to build over top of just based off of how that structure was designed and they couldn't figure it out. Just, I was teaching people about the, the railroads. They couldn't destroy mm-hmm. the railroads. They tried to mimic them. So they yep. like built another set of railroads right beside the original railroads that were already here previously before foreigners arrival. They tried to mark everything that was already here. I'm trying to show the people that. But yeah, and then yep. rerouted to their liking. But yeah, it's still stat or castles up right now. It's just, and you know, people would consider them visitation, but you know, places, stuff like that. Say it again, sis. And you're definitely not lying about the railroads because my 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 father's father, he retired from there. And when he used to always talk about these things with my grandmother. So remember I was telling you as a kid, sitting down listening to her to give me stories and stuff about the family history, she mentioned certain things. But, you know, at the time, I didn't understand that because I'm in school and they're telling me one thing, but it's not resonating. But then she's telling me something. And I'm like, at the time, back in the early 90s, we didn't have, we didn't have no, uh, you know, computers, you know, no things of those natures to, like, get a quick 
research, we would have to go to the libraries. Right. And I couldn't go to the library by myself, but like I didn't have that on hand available for me. So I would have to, you know, take word of mouth right. what it was and do my digging. But a lot of things that my grandma told me, it made sense. And, and it was kind of when I look back on it. My grandma used to always say that she never really had no issues throughout her life because she she was a lighter complexion. And as me and my sister was talking about, like the photos that we have of like our well, my grand well, my sister has all of the photos. I gave her all the photos just, you know, because I was a kid when I received those and I didn't want them to be damaged. So I handed it to her. And um and she still got like, them. She still has all of them. Okay. Um, she even has our our family Bible where they have that. You know, th- that's our a common thing. Bible. Yep, that's a common thing. I heard that before. Let me ask you this: Any Caucasian in the family? Um, not from my knowledge. Um, okay. That I know of, but my my grandmother always told us that. Um, she always told us that on they always referred her as a mulatto, basically. Oh, okay. And that says a lot. She always, she always, uh, when they, you know, come around and they do the little checking off and stuff, she would, she would, um, like when they, what she said was, you know, when time when they started flipping stuff on paper form, like where you have to check it and whatnot. Yeah. And, uh, do it basically, you had to check it in. Talking about the census. Yeah, the census. She would put other. And that's, is funny because my grandmother, um, my grandmother on my mother's side, she always said, Never check, you know, the two boxes at the top or the one box at the top. Check other because you're not neither one of those. Mm. And I and I always wondered because my mom, she will always say like, you know, we black, we black. And my grandma would give her this look and she will stop saying it. But they like I said, they were so secretive. They didn't really say too much. Because but black was derogatory during her time. The term black mm-hmm. was derogatory during her time. That's why she don't. It didn't resonate with her like, hey, we should be considering ourselves black on that census, which will be yep. up to date. Well, closely up to date with your mother's with your mother's age. That was well, she yes. was born in the seventies. Your mother? No, my mom was born in the fifties. Fifties, okay, my, that's close my enough. My mother was born in the forties. Um, from I, what I remember, what she had told me, she she didn't have a birth certificate when she was born. Yeah, and uh. But she ended up having to get one eventually. Eventually, mm-hmm. she, uh, she didn't have one. And see, when my grandmother was born, she was born in Mint, Minty, I think. I want to say it's Minty or Mint. She was born in Mint, um, Alabama, and my mom was born in Salem. And S- I Salem, my, my, Salem, Alabama. Yeah. And you, you and, might uh, have a bigger family tree than you think. I mean, Alabama I has rich history as well. Like, we, man, like, did you do anything on that side yet? Yeah, I have. And the the problem that I'm having right now is getting past my my third great grandmother. What year? Because for, um, that's the thing. They um, the year that they put down is it's not registering. So my mom. She's uh, working on getting the actual uh, her birth year because I know her death, her death date. Okay. So we're working on that. No and census records were found, but we you didn't get a chance to get the census records of this great grandma, yeah. right? Yes, the census that the census that I found with her, she had a different last name, and then her last her last name switched like three times, but. Um, the last names I tried to go through to find the marriage license and census, it was like um, it was like a dead end in some type of way because I was finding things, but it was like the names, you know, I knew that they they would misspell their names, like they yeah they didn't you know you don't they necessarily weren't all get the, the way correct, correct. yeah yeah you don't get the correct spelling, but it was like mm. the addresses were you know they were everywhere and then like the children were match- matching up. It was like weird. So, so okay, like, I can't. When, when, okay, so you you didn't necessarily find the very first census that she popped up on. You just found a census that she was on. Yeah, and that that was because I was on ancestry.com and I had wrote down um, 
it's another website I can go through and uh, dig a little harder. But uh, yeah, I, I, at the moment I'm kind of like at a standstill due to my finances and stuff. But um, my Let me, sister, she's working on it. Let me ask you this: If you're familiar with your grandmother's uh, birth year, if yes. you if you have that, you may be yeah, able to find your mother's. I mean, her mother's. Uh, yeah, I have her mother. I have her mother's. Like I, I knew. I actually remember her mother. Um, she actually was the one that taught me how to cook. So now, <laughs> if you have her mother's, then her mother's should still be on that same census that you find her on as a child. Okay. That that has to be in there. That has to be there. But you would have to go by her, basically her daughter as a mother at that time to get her mother, oh. if you understand what I'm saying. Yeah, because the children will be listed. Huh? Yeah, I would have to go through my uh, my great-grandmother to get, to get the thorough information I need from my great-great-great-grandmother. Correct. Correct. I, the, just go back. That's why I tell people, if you heard me, I tell people to stop with you and go back and go in that order and go in that order. So uh, in order for you to get great, great, get great and then go back because that, that's uh, immediately going to align you with the correct person and the correct records. Okay. It should. And now, again, it's going to be different spellings and different names. But you should be able to verify that by way of the uh, children's names. You know, some of them may have gotten, you know, uh, married later on down the line. So certain last names may change. You need to take a look at that. I say zone in on that and go backwards. What was their name prior to being married or their last name, rather? Link mm -hmm. it up. You're going to be able to find that. I, I wouldn't consider that difficult, but you just got to pay attention to detail at this point because certain things could have been changed. You're right. You're absolutely right. But that that's the only thing that with my mom's side, that's where we're well, me for the most part, because I'm I'm doing the footwork and everybody everybody pretty much on that side is like, Oh, is there any money involved? And I'm like You'll never know. Hold on. I mean, I, I understand a lot of our people want that money, but you'll never know until you find out. It could be. Because the land yeah, is the money. Is. Like you you <laughs> You'll never know. You it, it's the only way to find out is to check. It could be. And then speaking of the land, it's funny because, um, okay, so when my grandmother passed away, my mom inherited something. And my mom was like, oh, I'm going to sell it. I'm going to sell it. I said, like, why would you do that? I said, like, that's the most valuable thing you got on your hands. Yeah. And she was like, oh, well, who's going to go? I said, like, I will go down there. Like, Man, there's so many people you? that got land right now that's not being up kept. I don't know why my people got to think that they got to keep well, I mean, maybe because they think that they got to do that HOA and all the rest of that, you know, property tax. See, that's the reason why y'all need to throw it in the trust. I'm uh, not, nah, nah, totally different. Okay, anyway. No, I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, okay. that's another thing. So I, I've been doing that too. Like, I've been doing that research and stuff like that. So, yeah, I had that talk with my mom about that. And it's funny because I have to relay that with my oldest brother to relay it to her because she only listens to him. She don't listen to me or the middle brother. So, like, how, my how old brother, is the oldest brother? He's 47. Okay. So, okay. like, pretty much they've been, they've been and, thick. And that's the brother that's in the, what was in the political world, yeah. role for, okay, okay. Okay. So, like, with him, he, he was like, it's, you know, it's kind of, he said that it's hard, but I was like, all you got to do is keep talking to her. And I keep talking to her because as I'm educating her on like, you know, the, uh, you know, what we what you just said, and you was like, we ain't going to get into it. I've, you know, I've been talking to her about that and she, she's now listening. Like she's, re you know, receiving the message that I'm trying to get through to her to work together. And I was telling her like by my, uh, my grandmother, her, my third grade auntie is still alive. I thought she was, oh. I thought she was my grandmother. I thought she was my grandmother's sister, and it's crazy because <laughs> the whole time huh? I thought that she, she not. Yeah, I, she's still alive. No, she's she's her auntie. I mean, she's her uh, auntie, but I thought she was her sister because she they my my great grandma has so many kids, and her sisters it's like it's a big family. So, so it it's is. a baby in the family. So, <laughs> mm. so like. It's one of those things. How, how old is she, if you don't mind me asking? I believe, if I'm not mistaken, she's she just turned 81. 
Yeah, okay. my grandmother, she passed away at 80. So She yeah, may she still may know some stuff, though. She still may know she it. She still, still know a lot of stuff. It's my, it's my grandmother's sister who... I, her her son says that she played crazy. She doesn't want to talk about nothing. She's mean as a rattlesnake, so like nobody wants to deal with it. It could be trauma. So, it could be trauma. Like something might have happened. Said. Yeah. And that's what I said with, with the family on that particular side because they stay out by like Mobile, Alabama, Montgomery. They moved around to I know know, that Birmingham, area. Salem. Mm-hmm. So like a lot of things was happening, especially in Mobile, because like one of the uh one of my mom's prop- properties that she inherited the whole family owned that whole street. They got Where? their last name at the street. In oh, Mobile. in Mobile? Yes. The whole street is family. That's a lot of land. Yes, and it's a long street. It's not no little, like, little short, little, it's down the road. <laughs> Literally down the road. And she just got that. And she trying to she sell just, it? She just got it. She got it two years ago. And we've been working on her not to sell it because my grandmother had three properties. Tell you what, tell her to sign it off to you if she don't want it. You know what I'm saying? Keep it within the family and you throw that thing in the family trust real quick. That's what I was trying to do. Oh. First, It was funny because first I sent my brother, but her and my brother beat it, so <laughs> it didn't work out. Hmm. So it's just it's just me and the oldest brother. So she know that, like, I don't... She said she knows for a fact that I like, you know, I like being out in the country, for real. I feel more free and I can have clarity and don't feel like I got brain fog or I need to, you know... Man, um, don't let her go, go sell that. No, I've been on it. Trust me, I've okay. been on her. I've been on her like white on rice. But, yes, I did send you a friend request. <laughs> I, I Wait did a minute, let me questions. see. I'm about to do it right now. All right, I accepted it right now. Yeah, I had questions about the land patents and stuff. And uh, I, I put that on your live last night. So, oh, I probably didn't, didn't see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. DM me now. But I'm, a, yeah, I'm definitely going to DM you that information. And I greatly appreciate you and your wife. And I did buy your genealogy book. And that's what actually pushed push the uh, the search a lot further. Let's go. So <laughs> Let's I'm go. Go. And I was talking to my brother about them properties. Remember when we was talking when we were talking about them land? Yes, them unincorporated land, lands. Mm hmm. Yeah, we was talking about that. I was talking about that with my brother because he's in Florida. My other, my middle brother, he's yeah. in Florida. And um, I was telling him, I was telling him and my sister because ironically they both are. And you got Florida. family everywhere. You, I mean, it's pretty spread out. It's pretty spread out. But they, uh, them two, I was telling them about it, and my sister, my sister's like, "Oh yeah, we need to uh, go ahead and get this going." And I told her, I told her and my brothers. About you, like every time your lives come on, I'll be like, share, <laughs> share. I appreciate and they that, be, sister. They be watching. <laughs> they be watching. Watching. I hope they but watch I, it right now, man. I hope they can hear us, man. Look, y'all got work to do, and if y'all need assistance, I'm right here. Your sister's in here in the 13 percent community server. I'm letting you know right now. We'll be able to take care I, of it. And I definitely, most, most definitely. Greatly appreciate y'all and everything that y'all do. Y'all bringing awareness. Y'all waking people up. Y'all making people want to ask these questions that they yes. should have been asking. And like I said, in order for us to to stop what's going on, we all got to come together. I agree. As a unit. I agree. I'm dropping the bomb for that right now. Sister, DM me right now so it can pop up so I can see it. If you can. Okay. I accepted the friend request, but did, just click on my name and DM me right now in here. And okay. uh, it could be it could be any message. And then send me when you get a chance. Send me all the information so we could go from there. Okay. All right. Well, you have a a blessed night and continue to be great. I appreciate that, sister. You do the same and you have the same. Okay. I want to say, Wado, thank you Wado. for sharing all of that. That was beautiful. Shout out to those that was listening right there. I appreciate that. It's up. Uh, she, I'm waiting for her to DM me. Oh, oh no, that was somebody else that just DM me. I'm waiting for her, the sister, to DM me. Um, now I ain't gonna lie to y'all. My what? My wife contacted me twice. Let me call her. I know she downstairs. She probably watching. Don't you better not call me. You better. Uh uh-uh. uh Come on, hon. 
Come on. Come on. Don't act like you don't see me. That's exactly what I'm saying. Uh, hold up. You want speakerphone? Chill. Chill. They, they can hear you. you okay. Can you, can you come on? Yeah. Oh, you want me to shut it down? Yeah. Oh, I got work to do. You talking about work to do or work to do? Honey. Okay, no, no. I'm not, I'm just I'm just making sure because if I got work to do, I just better go ahead and take a bottle of water right now. But if you talking about honey. work to do, okay, all right. I'm getting I'm 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 about to I'm about to get off, honey. I appreciate that. I I thank you. I see you try right. to she, she shut it down. I'm all right, baby. Okay. I'm right. All right. Woo. Yeah, that tone. You hear that tone? She ain't playing. I told y'all that's that Mortal Kombat Sonya right now. All right. She's shutting it down. We could do this again, and we will be doing this again. Uh, those of you that didn't get a chance, uh, this is all being recorded. I'm definitely going to be remembering that. But when my wife say the shutdown time is shut down, I got to do it. I respect my wife. Of course, if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> and if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be here. And I appreciate that. We're going to be doing this again. Just stay put. We're going to go live again soon. If you joined the 13% community server, thank you. If you supported the stream, donation or otherwise, thank you. Wado, that's what Wado means. Thank you, Wado. I will be seeing you all shortly. Yeah, I got to shut this down. She ain't playing. She had that tone. Y'all know what I'm talking about? <laughs> she had that. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> all right. <laughs> that's right. When, we, when, that, when that happened, I got to drink a bottle of water. I got to go downstairs to do my job. Okay? So, <clears throat> I say my job. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. We drop a ball. Y'all take care. Hope y'all enjoyed it. I'm going to keep the stream up. If y'all didn't get a chance to hear the whole thing, I'm going to keep it up. Y'all take care. What oh? I'm just here to make you think. Slow dance. Yeah. Sub up, light up. 